Welcome in, boys. Another day, Ooh. another time to talk, talk with the boys. Curtis, as you can see, has been filled in by a Ninja Turtle beanbag and Donkey Kong, but he will be here at some point. We'll jump in here. So I, I reached out to some people and I was like, all right, what would be like a good, what's like some fun topics? I like to reach out to other people besides our brains. And people are like, well, I mean, I don't know why you don't talk about this. You guys have had a show for a decade. You've been game hunting for a decade. What are some of the best moments of the show? And I was like, oh, it just seems so like fan servicey. And he's like, yeah, people want to hear that stuff. And I'm like, okay, let's dive deep to some of our favorite stories. I feel free to ask questions. You and uh, as a recent joiner of the channel, how long do you think you've been on the channel on Pixel Game Squad? What would you say? Maybe a year and a half. Okay. Year, year and a half. That's weird. I actually was telling Couple my therapist I haven't liked the last year and a half of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm like the thorn in your side. Yeah, no, actually, you're absolutely fantastic. Well, uh, great addition to the show, I may thank say, you. as well. Um, Happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. Let's start with Ricky. Oh. Ricky, you and I, about almost 11 years ago is now, in 2012, in October, uploaded our first video on YouTube. It's crazy. Remember? Hands in the pockets, on the side, a little awkward. Hey, everybody, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And today we're at the Orange County Swap Mint looking for Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games, Nintendo games, anything Nintendo related. Wish us luck on our first episode of the NES Pursuit. The NES Pursuit. That was it. <laughs> Isn't it weird I remember that? That's awesome. It, it was fun. Ricky. How, how old were you guys? Oh, guys. So that's what, 11-ish years ago now. I'm 38 now, so probably like 26. 26. Oh, give me those years back, please. <laughs> and I've seen those videos. Of course, we all have. I mean, you guys look great now, but you looked like young boys nah, almost. Come like on. You was, look like young kids. We yeah. were, technically. I mean, yeah. 26. It's funny now that I'm older. I feel like that's a very young. That's young. It's young. Yeah. 26. Oh my yeah. god, I feel so old. <laughs> we're, all, we're, we're, we're all in that range now, okay? Just wait until you get to the 40s, bro. Uh, oh, Why you gotta say gosh. that, bro? I know, we're close. We're you close. guys haven't cracked that we're egg close. yet, huh? We're close yeah. to cracking. You're 40. 40 already, right? I'm 42. Oh, you know how it is. Yeah, well, I do I, know how At it least is. you're in shape. I, like, blew my back out. You have a shape. Gym. <laughs> <laughs> a what? You have a shape, too. Well, like, uh, like a challenge set. <laughs> I don't know if you're a big square. I'd say Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ricky, let, let's go back. What are some we've done so much on the show from every state you can think of to meeting different people? What are some of your what are what is one of your favorite moments of doing this as long as we've done it? Oh man, I mean, there's a lot of them, but one I'm pretty bummed we didn't get to film. It literally just happened. Was that last year? This year when we went with Rick to to Arkansas. Which which part? All right, so this was. Uh, oh God, the the bad part is. We we filmed this, but we did we're not making a video on it. This is one of my oh, favorite ooh, things Ricky's, that ever happened. Ricky's going a little little deep cut. So I'm, this is a I'm going deep because this is stuff like you guys did not see that I wish you would have saw because it was amazing. Tell them what happened. We did never uh, tell the story, so I, I actually think it's very interesting for people, even if they don't watch the show in any way, shape, or form, because nobody saw this. Yeah, no one saw this. Tell so them. we were just uh, we we're yard sailing with Rick. We're like, hey, let's just give it a shot. We started driving around all of Arkansas and. I can't remember who spotted the the yard saw. I think it was Riff because they, they they both kind of fight. Who, I, who I did? yelled, back <laughs> up. There's a yard sale. Rick drove past it, and I was like, "Go, whoa, whoa! We're in the middle of Arkansas, and there's a yard sale. Back up." <laughs> so so we get to this yard sale. They actually have cool stuff. They have like a, a ton of like uh, uh, the Happy Meal toys, yeah. like a ton of that. Some of the vintage toys. They, they were kind of like in rough shape, but they were still cool to collect. And uh, somehow. What, was it Rick? Rick was wearing a NASCAR shirt, and they're like, "Oh, you guys like NASCAR, huh?" And he's, we're like, "Yeah, yeah, we love NASCAR." And this dude's like, "All right, come in." He 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 kept, he called Riff, uh, Riff into his room, which was a which little, was a little sketchy. Weird. Wow, a little because little we're in the sketchy. middle of Arkansas, in the middle of, and I'm talking like <laughs> what you think of when you think of the nowhere part of Arkansas. Like nobody's around. Guys, like come in my house, you know. And I'm like, Ricky. I literally told Ricky and Rick. I just kind of looked at him like. I'm just gonna trust, bro. And I went in there, and you know they're probably out there sitting out there, like, is Riff getting killed? Is something good going on? But immediately, and I'll let you finish the story. But I'll jump into where I was. Arkansas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas Chainsaw. I like the Arkansas Massacre. <laughs> Arkansas. Um, I walk in, and I immediately see, you know, validation that this guy's legit. Because when he told Rick, he's like, "You're in a NASCAR suite. I was a NASCAR driver." And you never know if it's just some old man telling yeah. stories. You know. It's fun to do when you're older, kind of shoot the beans with people. I'm a NASCAR guy. I knew this guy. I knew Dale Earnhardt, this and that. And the minute I walk in, I just see his room is filled with pictures of him. NASCAR hugging Dale Earnhardt, holding trophies, finish line. So I'm like, okay, 
this guy's legit. And then Ricky, you can keep with the story going. I come out and basically talk to them. And then what happens from there? Yeah. So he comes out. He's like, dude, you guys got to come check this out. But truth be told, there was a ton of cool stuff outside. That's why me and Rick didn't go in there. He had like Ghostbuster toys and all that stuff. But we walk into his, his place. He's, he's kind of showing us around. He's, the reason we really went in there was because he said he had this Michael Jordan rookie card that he really wanted to sell us. And we're like, dude, yeah, we'll check it out. Whatever, whatever you got. Let's go look for it. So he's looking through his drawers, looking for this. And he's like, oh, he, he pulls out this red underwear. And he's like, he's like, hey, you guys in wrestling? I'm, we're like, heck yeah. Pulls out uh, <laughs> Rick Flair. Rick Flair's underwear, ring worn underwear, or underwear costume. Suit, whatever, yeah, suit, they yeah. wear. So he pulled one out. Not only did he pull one out, he pulled out, pulled out a second one. And he's like, yeah, well, my, my wife got these when we used to work at the, I think it was. The South, wrestling ring, South Carolina. South Carolina wrestling ring. So <laughs> apparently the story was that some of the wrestlers puked in, like, where, where, where the, where the, ah, where the they dressing stay? room. Where the dressing room. So neither one of them wanted to go. And in the end, she ended up going. And when she went to clean up the dressing room, apparently these got left behind. So she just grabbed them and... Kept them. That's unbelievable. They were basically like janitorial service. They everyone is barfing. I'm sure they're out partying and you drink a bunch of booze. I mean, we know Ric Flair and them go crazy. Yeah. You go crazy, you wrestle, you shake your body up. The show ends, you puke everywhere, you bail in a hurry. They called people in. Janitorial come. Nobody wanted to come. Teresa is her name. <laughs> she went and she's like, he left his shorts behind that he wore in the ring. And what's cool is the stories they told us. I mean, for sure, we're clothing guys, 100% guaranteed, 100% vintage, 100% authentic. Again, we can't authenticate the story, but all the dates they told us, the times, the location, we went and Googled everything. South Carolina, that year, he was there, he wrestled, like everything added up. And such a good story. Why would you like even lie about that? No, yeah. they don't even know. We couldn't have been, we couldn't have been, we could have cared less about wrestling, right? Right. And they, they would have still told us. So for them to tell us and us sitting there like, Oh my gosh. Craziest part was they offered us very low money that they wanted for him. We ended up giving them, you know, basically a hundred bucks each. They yeah. thought that was even too much, but that's what we paid. But we know what they'd be worth to get them authenticated and put out there. I know people will put out those same. It's the red shorts with the RF on them, getting those, you know, authenticated and sold. I mean, I see what fake stuff sells for signed by Ric Flair. That's like a repop. Of something, and were they just in like a regular underwear drawer, like yeah. with his underwear? He, he just had him in an underwear. All his he had like, <laughs> just like his regular underwear. He had ran, random collectibles. Do you think he would wear them at one time? I wonder if he wore them. He's too dude. big. He was too yeah, big. Yeah, he was too big. These were these are tiny, dude. They're, they're tiny. Like, tiny. They're made to like. But I've actually seen them. They're kind of like the high waist. They're yeah, very like high waist. So over your belly button. Out there, only my wife has it. There is a picture of me. <laughs> Did you put them on? Shirtless, <laughs> with no underwear on underneath. I put them on raw, dude. <laughs> Hundred percent. Did they fit? They fit. They did. They were. He they was were, in good shape. They were the snug. Yeah, though. he was skinny back then. They yeah. were snug. I will say they are much smaller than you would think. I'm not a big guy by any means. I mean, I'm tall, but I'm you know I'm one seventy or so. They were a little snug when I put up there. And the interesting about them, they're not very stretchy. You know, they're old school, right? Things were a lot like if you look at old baseball stuff. It's a lot of like pretty. It, there's not a lot of flex within it. Did it and it held everything together. <laughs> Everything held together. <laughs> you can definitely 100% tell they're vintage. From tag to look weird, old, like not even like a real tag, but like cloth material, you oh. know. Because well, um, I've always wondered, I've watched wrestling my whole life, like what the material of that is made. Because there's never any like, like a thick like, linen. Things never go wrong in, in it, the ring. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they, they seem to hold everything. That's why. Well. They're not thin. They're almost like made to make sure that your family jewels don't pop out because they know you're doing act. There's no way once you put those on that nothing's moving yeah not even a, 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 <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> locked in place do you smell it 100 percent smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, ask, yeah. I, I guess he smell it <laughs> yep. he wants that whoa <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I, I examined them and definitely. <laughs> let's go, Rick. Chris liked that a lot. Really Dude, I, I love that. Rick Flair. I love the. <laughs> I examined them before I put them on, and there was definitely questionable stains. And I was like, eh, like, yeah, whatever. It's whatever. I'm never gonna be able to say I wore, wore Ric Flair's underwear. And of course, you don't wash them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, no, you don't no, want to no. wash. It doesn't them. matter. Everything there no. works. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> yep. It, what, it's interesting too. The guy that did it. His name was Flying Clyde. 
he had like his own t-shirts of NASCAR back in the day where you could see he was like sponsored by Pizza Hut and stuff like that. But what was really cool for us, and it was like a very unexpected thing, it was very emotional because you could tell his family, he had been retired from it for so long that everyone's been there, heard that with dad telling, you know, old grandpa telling the same stories over and over. So when he told us, we were super excited. We're like, oh my, that is great. Oh, I can't, you could, dude, he started to tear up. You could tell it's like, he hasn't told this story in 30 years and seen people excited to hear the story. So it was really cool. Rick, like, you know, Rick gave him some money to go to dinner. Like, you know, they weren't living large. We, you know, we, I think we even like prayed for him and like really just had like a fun, I think he wasn't in good health at all. A really cool experience where we walked away and feeling like, man, I feel like they were really blessed by that. And not even saying we did anything to bless them, but I mean, it just felt like, like a, a situation that I know made him feel like, you know, maybe somewhat like honored for his name again, because I can't imagine, you know, you tell the same story, middle of Arkansas, your cousins heard it, your wife's heard it, everybody's heard it. They've lived, been there, done that, but now you're getting to tell it with new life again. Well, you know, it also brings up something I think about, like I go to a lot of estate sales where there's a lot of collectibles mm. and of course, you know, people die, they yeah. pass away yeah. and there's all these collectibles in people's homes and maybe this guy, how old was he, would you say? 60s? Late 60s? 60s. But maybe 60s, not good but health, late but like 60s, on but his not, last. Yeah. He was having, you can always so have he breathing. Was probably just so excited to like, see people that were interested in the stuff that he was interested in. Probably half his family, and like my family's not interested in the stuff that I like to collect yeah. either. And I've always thought about that when I pass, like what's gonna happen with this stuff, yeah. you yeah. know? So to see you guys interested was probably like, uh, oh my gosh, people, there's other people that care about this too. You know? I think now that I think about him and Teresa, his wife, were both tearing up, yeah. telling the story. They were both. And I was like, this is so cool. Like it was, it was, it was a, if anything, I would say it was a blessing for us, you know, to walk away with that, not just like, obviously finding like one of the craziest items we could possibly find, but like middle of Arkansas, middle of nowhere. There is some footage of it out there. We'll be honest. We were kind of doing like the low key film, but I didn't feel right after talking. Like I'm not trying to post this man struggling to breathe in his room, you know, no shirt on. Like, oh, he was in really poor health then. Yeah, yeah. He was breathing hard and I didn't want to get like, I didn't feel comfortable enough to put it out, even though we could have click baited the heck out of it and got views, you know, but I was like, it's not worth it. So, and I, I think those are the kind of stories. It doesn't, it doesn't work filming. Yeah, they're more worth it to be told. It would not feel the same right. for you. Yeah. Told. I would have felt sleazy. Yeah. Right. What about you? I'm curious, Gabble. What are your? So you were uh, a fan of the show, then became I, a big I part so, of the show. I got a lot, man. Well, we don't have time for a lot. Give yeah, me your favorite I, story I, I of go, Pixel Game Squad. I'm gonna say two. Okay. But I promise, quick. <laughs> It's not the rules, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so many, but I will say one that I really always remember and start laughing is when when you broke your rib. Oh, in Phoenix. Yeah. That was a good one. And, and that's the same one. He lost his, his, uh, watch. My his watch. watch. We'll tell Chris the story in a minute. Is this yeah. the skateboarding one? Have I heard this? No, no it's no. a great one. Okay. It's because I was brand new. I think that was my yeah early days. That, yeah, that that was my first uh, event with you guys, and when that happened, I was like, "Uh oh, what I'm what what I'm doing? What I just get into? Yeah, what am I doing here with these yeah. boys?" And and the other one is is brand new, and yeah, I have to tell this is when you called me a couple of months back and told me about SoCal. Oh. Believe it or not. I, I didn't tell you. I think I told somebody, but I started crying. You you can you can go back to the voice message. And it was it was special for me because I felt so happy for you guys. Yeah. That coming from I it, I remember I was in a Lake Los Angeles without reception. I think I remember that. Yeah, and you called me. I think I was trying like, to tell you and you're yeah, like you you called me and I was like, call from Rifo. Probably he's gonna be saying like, why you say something like, because receiving a call from you is rare because you're always busy. We're, 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 we, we talk on busy. We talk on voice messages. Yeah. We talk make, a lot in voice make messages. Make that clear. We talk all day, but on Damn. voice messages. <laughs> this guy's guy acting like I don't call you. Jeez. <laughs> it's like you never. Call. Yeah, but it's rare yeah. because we Rough always busy. actual call. Yes. It's not only you. It's the same with me. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's rare for us to call each other. Yeah. Unless it's something. Super important. Yeah, super important. So so I remember you calling me and, and the calls drop. Yeah. And then I call you. And then it drops again. Yep. 
and you was like, oh, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I was like, uh-oh, what happened? And and the call drops again. And then you call me. Yeah. And it drops. But then you start testing me. Voice message. And I was so... Which is how we normally communicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it I drops. Was, yeah. No, no. <laughs> I was so happy because I everything started like going back and remember that first episode yeah. and remember when you guys start and and all the journey yeah and yeah i mean i will say so far that's that it has to be my favorite one that's awesome what a good good no seriously no i i agree it's it's hey it's right behind you too as you speak that not not unintentionally <laughs> wow, but uh, what a promo baby <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, no. got to do what we got to no, do but, yeah, I told that story to somebody. Was you that I told you? I think so. I was start crying like a little baby. And yeah, I got emotional about it too. I mean, behind yeah, the scenes, like, I did too. Because this is like our baby. Yeah. Like, SoCal game hunting is our baby. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Hundred percent. And the it, the expo will bring it to real life too. And yeah. we're excited for it now. Wait till the show actually. Even happens. like the, us last night, all talking. I'm calling all the people today. Like, hey, what do you want to talking we, to Gabo? We receiving message from Gabo. We put we put Gabo in some roles. Gabo's gonna have some important roles too. So be ready, people. We yeah, told him last you're, night. You were part though. of the discussion. Hundred percent bodyguard. No, I'm I've, been, it, I've been the spokesman. And yeah. it'll be I, well. We'll have seven eight months of planning this. So it's yeah. gonna be a lot of work and excitement and everything. And then it's like an accumulation of like when the event happens happens yeah. it's unbelievable because yeah. i've been doing it with retro world of course for years now so yeah i'm beyond excited for socal yeah. so mm -hmm. i was I, well a little quick i was thinking you was going to tell me that you guys bought a store oh. and that was for me that was like, oh, okay cool yeah it makes cool. sense but yeah when you told me about socal i was so emotional heck yeah bro. it was so awesome i love that because that who better cool. who better than you guys not Chris I, alone. I, I was, <laughs> well, well, that's what I thought when I, you know, I'm just like kidding. bringing you, you guys. You would have done was, great even if we didn't come along. But yes. Well, I mean, it all made sense. It was we, the timing of us meeting and yeah. you know everything. Yeah. It just made. I will say, sense. who better than us? Because I, I will include myself there. Because yeah, you're, help. you're you're part of it. This whole and squad and, and yeah, so. everybody that you see on the show is a hundred percent, and and people in the community are a hundred percent a part of this. All right, I'll tell a quick story though, yes. just to jump in on it while we're reminiscing. But and I probably told this story before, but you guys said you made your first video in 2012. I opened my second store in Connecticut in 2013, and at the time, Russ Lyman was my manager of the I store, remember. who's also a good friend. Really? You guys know Russ? Yep. Yeah, Russ worked for me. Russ is awesome. For years, yeah. And he was manager of that. He was the first manager of that store. Well, when it was just myself and Russ and we're building out the store, he's, we had a TV that we put up on the wall. And he started it. He used to play you guys all the time. So you so would have only cool. been a year into it. And I, Russ and I just used to watch you guys all the time. And I don't think he knew you guys at that point. We just would watch. And again, you were the young yeah, kids yes. at that time. But, <laughs> yeah. and, That's so cool. And so to, to like come full circle 10 years later and then to be doing an expo. With it's almost you, unbelievable. It's really kind of, it, it, it is. And I, in my mind, I think about it, I'm like, that is so weird how that, it's all transpired. Because I'm 3,000 miles away on the other side of He's the country. He's guts country. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is, is like this, a God's plan. It's almost right. like we couldn't have made this happen if we wanted to make it happen. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just sit down. And think about it. Yeah. Oh, I do. Think about it. I do. And and, and and other thing that make me so happy is what I always the only one that like it and, and laugh is Ricky. <laughs> but I always <laughs> telling you about my role in all of this. What, I, I, I want to make it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> Wait, well, you want to make it what? <laughs> well, I would like I I I want to help, and I would like to be the yeah, best. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are. You're you a are. Con, No, I mean the, the so-called to be the best one. Yeah. Okay. No, not talking bad I be, about I better the tell part of the story <laughs> so we're still on topic on hand. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost 20 minutes deep in this one. Oh, uh, so for me, biggest for sure moment in the show, I think as far as like what the community gathered towards was when we found – or went into the warehouse with all the sealed oh, games. Oh, yeah. That was probably one of the biggest conversations. If anybody doesn't know, we went to a warehouse Bobby? full of sealed oh. games. It's almost like as if Toys R Us shut down in like the early 2000s with all their stock in the back and then just left it there. But I want to jump in and say there's one that's still more important to me to this day, and that was Archons. 
That was the best oh, moment in the show. That was great. Uh, true. Our buddy Archon, who we know now, uh, Art of Nintendo Power, does some of the coolest stuff on the internet in the world of video games as far as us being paper people and preserving art and stuff like that. Um, basically, I met him on an airplane. He to started telling me- He was flying to Portland. We were flying to Portland. He comes and tells me that he was a big old fan of the show and it was super important. And he tells me, you know, his wife is a huge fan, but she's struggling with cancer and that she wanted to meet us before she passes. Sadly, we didn't get to meet her before she passed, but we still got to go to his house like pretty much after that. And it was just a really like emotional feeling video being there, knowing that like his wife isn't there anymore. And we kind of got to dedicate the video to her and kind of like talk to her in a way, you know, while we we're there on video and the video. And I feel like it was just such a like, uh, we've always been goofy on camera because that's who we are. But I feel like it gave the show a little more importance to us, like even as people just like, wow, this is so much more important then we realize sometimes not putting it on us, but like these things can be so important to people like even us. We don't realize, you know, I'm sure American pickers don't realize that when we're having fights with our family and real things are going on, sometimes we'll watch to escape that stuff, you know? So for us, it kind of got to like cent, you know, cement for us in our brains, like, whoa, like this, sometimes people will watch this in much more important reasons than we think you know, to get them through something, to help them kind of forget. I know you, the same thing with your family members as well, watched our show. And, you know, it was just a really, like, a humbling part of the show for us. Go beyond that, the games. Yeah, that's an important thing. And I've realized that even with the stores and, and with the expo over the years that I've done, it's like a spiritual reason for what you're doing. Yeah. It's beyond just like, okay, I sell video games. Like, what's the totally. reason I'm doing it? And the, I get that same satisfaction when people come in and go, oh my gosh, this is my childhood and it brings them back. You could see it. They're, you can see it. See it. And I've realized that's my gift back is that. Yep. And the expo is that too. Like, you're creating an amazing memories and in, in time for people that's yep. like, they're going to have with them for the rest of their lives that's a spiritual thing you're doing for the good of people so yep it's good that you have that experience as well, well thank you and not to cut everybody off on our middle of our emotional on to the next topic <laughs> per curtis curtis is not here curtis, i like clapping clapping is normally my role being obnoxious and just clapping about things that we don't need to clap about <laughs> so we had gabo on last time and we ranked capcom nes games and there was definitely because we we touched on in the comments if capcom was better in the 8-bit days or if konami was better in the 8-bit days that was the, it seemed that was the main conversation yeah. within the in the in the chat so waiting uh oh so now what we're doing is we're going to be ranking konami and we're just going to go for it s is best f is worst gabble the guests give me a number between one and ten six one two three four five we are starting off with Gradius, oh wow, Gradius <laughs> or Gradius? By the way, how do you say it? Gradius or, Gradius or Gradius? Why are you asking me? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm the brown guy. I got it. <laughs> how about you? Gradius. 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 Now I don't know because you guys said it. Gracias. That's how Gabo says it. Yo, that's, oh, yeah. Gradius. Dang, that would, that would have been a good one. Dang it, I should have held that. Grandios. 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 Gabo, what's your thoughts on Gradius, Gradius? Uh, C for me. C. I prefer Life Force. Oh, you're a Life Force man. Yep. Okay. Christopher? <laughs> Man, I actually like Gradius a lot. I love this game. I thought it was Life Force was, man, Life Force probably was better. Was we're not. Like we're not comparing. Are, we're ranking. <laughs> is Life Force on this list? Uh, it is not. I can't put everything again. Note to everybody: I'm not putting every Konami game. I'm not putting the sub diversions of Ultra after Konami couldn't comments. make more. Yeah. What is better, Gradius or Life Force? What do you got, Chris? Um, man, I did like this. I'm going to give it an A. I hey. like it a lot. Wow. I thought it was really good. I played the heck out of this game. I'm with Gabo. It's not my favorite. I do like it, but there also are other shooter games on the Nintendo I like much better, so I'm going to go C, even though I still like the game. Ricky? I was going to go C+. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh I zoomed out. How do I, how do I fix that? Whoa! Hey, this, this is like the first time I've noticed that we've like given something low when Chris gave something high. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> usually the, it's like the opposite. <laughs> it is the opposite. All right, ready? We're just going to jump into the next one. It oh, C and plus I, B? Did it give it a B? No, it's, it's, bar it's still barely a C, yeah. bro. And I'm going to say on this one, just so people know, this is the first time because I, I couldn't do it. I had to break our rules, and I did put two games from our same franchise in this list. Because I couldn't not, because they're completely different games. So with that, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, NES, Chris, 
first one, by the way, part as one. As much as I hated, I actually played the heck out of this game, and I did really enjoy it before Turtles 2 came out. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the way the game should be. <laughs> but when this was all there was to play, it was the first time Turtles, I think, had probably ever been on a video game. I want to guess. There's no way I'm cementing that in with the internet, having internet in front of them. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, maybe it was a PC game at some point, but I don't think so. So, I mean, I was super excited to play it. It was so hard, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, but man, it was hard. I'd give it a B. B. Just because of that. Okay. Yeah, it was so hard. Ricky? Um, I'm at the same thing, B. It's it's fun, but it wasn't my favorite game. I mean, B's still a good grade. B's still good. Don't forget, B's a good grade. A lot of times I feel like we say B and we're like, it's kind of bad. And we're like, wait, that's actually like a great, <laughs> like, great job. Do you guys remember picking this up and being like, what the heck? Why, is, why are all their bandanas red? Comics. That's why. I know. Well, but, yeah. but as a kid, I'm like, what? what do you mean? Oh, all they're all on the front. Yeah. The <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this right. Raphael game? <laughs> Gabba, what about you? <laughs> on Pop Opinion A. In my opinion, the best. Hey. The bottle. Put that hand out right now. Keep, put that hand out, wow. Gabo. Put that hand out. Like this. And give me a high five because I'm with you. A. Best, you love it. I best, love it. Yeah, it is good. Turtles games on the NES. Did you ever get past the time bombs? The, yeah. The, you it's got the second level. That? I Dude, couldn't get by. I no, played. I got by that. I couldn't get by the overhead one. Actually. The third level, I couldn't get by. Well, the no overhead world, there is an overhead map the whole time. With, by the way, the music. Dun, dun, Whatever the third one is. I couldn't get past the third level then. That's okay. what it was. I yeah, could, you suck, bro. How did yeah. you, you guys never beat this Dude, game, though, did you? What kind? <laughs> Did you? Are you oh, insulting me? You know, hey, I beat this game with him. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I could never beat it. Spoiler alert. He got a new name. Oh, yeah. What'd you start calling me? Captain I Know Everything NES. Oh, that's what he said. He goes, they call me Captain I Know Everything NES. Hey, look at me. I'm the Captain I Know Everything NES. going to say the completionist. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going A, too. I actually, so when I was a kid and I played this game, it wasn't one of those games, you know, where like, you are like, oh, well, it should have been like this, like Mario 2. You know, a lot of people are like, I played it, and it was supposed to be like that one. I, and I didn't have anything like a preconceived notion of what TMNT should have been. So when I played this, I thought it was just a, an amazing game. I'm only not giving it an S because there's a couple other in here I'd want to give an S, but I absolutely love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So that's uh, AA. Uh, uh, BB. Oh, how many levels were there? Five? I couldn't tell you off the top of my hand. Probably five. I think. And the music is amazing. That's between A and B. Uh, ready? We're just going to go to the next one straight up. We're going to mix it up with double dribble. Ooh, Gabble, you're a basketball guy. Let's <laughs> go with you. Uh, <laughs> double dribble. Double dribble. Double uh, dribble. I have to go. I have to go B because of nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yeah. Like the slam dunks, bro. Yeah. The animations. <laughs> and the... And, uh, Keep going. I, 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 so I'll jump in and say I love the music on this game. It's it's basic. It's simple. I did love the animations. I have to say, as an adult going back and playing it, not really my no. favorite thing. But I do have a ton of nostalgia for it. But I'm trying not going to be blinded by the light. I'm going to go C based off what it is. I think I like Art Rivals better, actually. But I'm going to go C. What you got, Ricky? What you laughing about over there? I'm going to give it a D for double dribble, bro. Ooh, double D. <laughs> I, I literally had nostalgia for it, but yeah, it, it, this game used to make I, me so mad. I'm going to give you a D for Donald. Donald? <laughs> <laughs> Donald Duck? Donald Trump? What are we doing here? <laughs> what you got, Chris? I'm D as well. Ooh, I, didn't, I was not D. a big fan of this game, so D for me. Well, that, that ranked real low. That's it's, double it's not, D. It's not that, it's not that it's not that bad. That's a solid T. Let's let, let a solid D. Let's bring up the hype right here and just. I, I'm debating. Do I do I blow the load of Super C or Contra? Oh, I'm going or or Castlevania. I meant. I'm going Castlevania. Okay, Chris, we're gonna go with you first. You're staring deeply. I mean, I love the Castlevania, all of them, but I this one in particular when it first came out just blew my mind. Yeah. It was so so good. Um, this is just my style of game that I like. Um, it's an S. I got to give it an S. What do you think I about the knockback? Well, when you get hit and you get knocked back like Ninja Gaiden. Oh, it was terrible. I mean, that, yeah, horrible. But Working those staircases. The and then... staircases were so clunky trying to position yourself yeah. going up them. Um, <laughs> but the music was incredible. I, I loved so much about this game. It's a solid S. Gabo? S2. Okay. S squared. Super. I'm going to go A. Ugh. Love the game. <laughs> Lo hey, hey, we're acting like A's are bad. Oh, an A. No, it's super good. A for uh, Castlevania. I like you said. I don't think it may actually be one of the best scores musically in video games. Like across the board from all of them, all the Castlevanias have just beautiful soundtracks. Actually, some of the 
um, soundtracks I use remixes for in my runs, like to keep me pumped. Because they be going, bro. Nice. What you got, Ricky? Uh, it's an A for me, too. I love it, but I... I can't give it an S just yet. Ooh, I think I know where your yeah. S is going. <laughs> <laughs> so that's still good. That's almost, that's between an A and an S. That's still some fantastic ratings right there. Let's mix it up a little and go Goonies too. And you know, I'll jump in first on this. I really like this game. Like, I really like it probably more than I should have. It's a little janky. The graphics are pretty whack. Soundtrack's great. Um, it's it's a B for me. I, I, I very much enjoy this game and I can go back to play it and still smile each time. A B. It's all B. I played it. I have to. I have to actually like rack my brain with this game. It's like, but I do remember it, and I played it. I thought it was going to be so much better. I think what I was expecting, like <laughs> oh, from the cover, wow. and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Goonies game. <laughs> and of course, there was no Goonies one, right? It was just Goonies. It was yeah, two. something weird like that. I something remember. I forget the thing, but there was no Goonies one. But it came out, and I just loved the movie. It's like this is going to be amazing, and I just remember being so disappointed with this game. <laughs> well. For being one of the early Nintendo like licensed games that's come, you know, whether it's Jaws or Friday the 13th, whatever, all these companies had their their brands for them. I feel like it's a decent one because a lot of them, like Back to the Future, Bill and Ted, just got smoked with being horrible games. Like this wasn't as bad, not as bad as it could have been. I would give it a C. Gabo, now that I'm thinking, I played the other day and I will go with B. Your B, you, you know. <laughs> Yeah, B. <laughs> you, you little B. I, I love how they mix. I don't remember it's the first person when you are inside the houses and looking for the for what the ball. What do you balls. call that? Dungeon crawling? Yeah, like like you go like this. I always forget yeah. what that's called. Yeah, like a dungeon crawler. Yeah. What is it called? Because I like fan, fantasy. Where it VR like does turns. It. Friday Thirteenth does yeah. it. I forget what these those those. But I forgot it, it was in first person, or you can still see the guy. Ricky, what's your opinion on this game? <laughs> I, dude, I honestly can't remember it, so I, oh. I, I don't, don't want to score it. Oh. When you guys were explaining, I was Sounds like, like yeah, I'm the only of... one here who should be ranking this game right <laughs> I, now. I, that's what I'm both, I remember it. They're both questioning everything about this game right now. <laughs> I said, Captain, I know doing? everything in yeah, yeah, go ahead, Captain. <laughs> Did you beat it? I can't remember. Can't remember? I feel like it might have been one of those games where we beat like collectively as a brothers. Yep. It's kind of how we did most of it in the childhood. Gabba, what was your ranking? You said B. B, B I, yeah. Double B and C, so that's okay. That's pushing. Let's go straight up right here. TMNT 3, the Manhattan Project, by the way, which is right here. There it is. Manhattan Project. Um, Christopher. Dun, 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 dun. Um, not my favorite mm. of the three. Mm. So, But I liked it. Uh, <laughs> I'd, give it I'd give it an A. Okay. It. It's good. Solid A for me. I love the beach scene in the beginning, how it just comes in, the fun beach music, the vibes, the chill vibes, they're all watching TV on the beach, uh, the music, the way things fall on you, absolute A for me. Gabo? C. Really? I did, I did play the other day, and I didn't enjoy it. I think it's like stiff, like... What are you doing over there, Gabo? <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? Oh, I'm, oh. <laughs> You can't say that, bro. You can't I'm thinking say about Leonardo with the, oh. with the sword, like that's that's probably Donatello who does it like that. But oh, and Leonardo it. too. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, well, I didn't enjoy it as the other game, so it's a C for me. C, okay, Ricky. It's an A. I, I actually enjoyed this more than the other one. Which one? Two or one? One. Okay. Two, I think, is still that's your favorite. Yeah. Oh, so that was A. A. What was you? A. Okay, so triple A, and then Gabo just being incorrect. <laughs> so we'll go. Low A. That's still low A. Let's just look at Ricky for this yeah. one. Bucky O'Hare. Gabo being my funny. Gabo. Gosh. The most. This is one of my favorite Nintendo games. It's so good. This is like if there was something beyond an S tier, I'd give it to it because I love this game that much. It's like Mega Man mixed with a bunch of you know. It's Mega Man, when, but you can swap off characters. That's literally characters. what it is. It's so good. I love this game. S tier. There's so much speed in the game, too, which I feel like for the NES can sometimes be hard. But there was so much speed in so many of the levels. There's like the cart levels where you move around as the characters and it's full speed going. The music is just pumping the whole time, like fast paced, no slowdown, almost give you anxiety level of pumping. Um, I love it. I beat it recently. Uh, I beat it maybe two months ago with Andy. So I beat good. it through and it was it's an S. It was it's one of my favorite games that I've so beaten in a good. long time. I missed this one. I never played this game. And I own it. I, I showed you a little it. gameplay. I know. You showed me gameplay of it. I'm like, that looks incredible because Mega Man is one of my favorite franchises. So I was like, oh my God, I would love that game. But I have to go play this one. I've never played okay. it. So yeah. I'm going to have to pass. You get the ranking of, go play it. <laughs> Gabo. <laughs> I'm going with uh, Solid A. 
Thanks, NES Complex. He's the one that told me to play it. Oh, I yeah. never played it before. And like a year ago when I bought it, he was the one who told me, go play it. And you loved it. I Let's go. It. I was like, those kind of games, like, why I didn't play it? Yeah. When I was a kid. So, so good. A-S-S. -S. A. -S -S. A. It was like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Chris isn't here, bro. I can't even pick on him when he's not here. Too. I was like, hey, I love Chris. I, I mess with those I love. All right, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's do uh, Blades of Steel. Blades of I mean, I'm already talking A. Top five sports games of all time to me. The fights feel good. The punch sound effects feel good. The the get halftime the shows, get the puck, <laughs> or whatever he says. It's all, I'm always like, is that actually what he's saying? I hope that's what he's saying. I love when they drop face off. <laughs> what do you guys? What, these boys are grabbing Coke over here. Um, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, not a sponsor. Uh, I'm going solid A on this game. Beautiful game. My God, I love this game. I bet I would smoke you at it. I this was not my favorite hockey game on the NES. I was just saying that to talk. But I, I know people do love this game, and I have played it, and I liked it. The fights was awesome. So good. They were so good in this. But my favorite hockey game is ice hockey. On the really? Oh it's not gosh. bad. I like ice hockey. I love ice hockey. That is one of my favorite games, actually. So because of that, I would give this a B. Okay, a B. So we have an A and a B. Gabo. Solid eight. Two things. Eight? Eight. Eight. eight, eight. <laughs> Solid eight. Two things. Let's my go. first experience, fighting game and sport game. Wow, a like a combination. Seriously. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, like, gotcha. So for me, it has to be a, so, so good, man. You know what I'm surprised a company hasn't done? Oh my gosh, I don't even want to say. Capcom, if you're listening, or Konami, hook me up. Like <laughs> a new sports game, it's arcade-style hockey game, right? They have those arcade-style ones, crazy. But when you go into fight, it like turns into a full-on like Street Fighter yeah. type, like crazy power With moves. fatalities and everything? Oh my oh, gosh, that'd be so rad. Dude. Dude. That would be cool. Dang. That's a good... Sorry. Ricky? It's an A. This is like my second favorite hockey game. The first is N64 Wayne Gretzky's. That's a good one. That's a really good game. That's a really, That's a really good game. game. <laughs> That's a Game Chaser reference. <laughs> For those who don't know. So that was a solid... That was a A, A, A... Did what, you rank it? You say, I gave it a B. Okay, so we're, we're doing good right now. Bucky O'Hare is just creeping up the top with, um, with Castlevania. Let's go. Let's switch it up. Let's go. Ooh, Monster in My Pocket. Man, what a good game. Man, what a freaking good game. And I feel like every time someone talks about this game, it's like brief about how good it is. It has every element of a good video game from music to graphics. You play as like horror stuff, too. It's like every little thing you could want. Even the way you punch and the swipe, it just looks good and sounds good. Hey. Are you all right? I'm <laughs> low-key having a moment. Are you looking at my shorts right now, bro? I, I see you like... <laughs> Did you see anything up there? And I heard something, so... Oh, baby, hit me one more time. What you got? <laughs> or I'll do the Britney Spears thing anywhere. She's like doing the weird things now with the knives. Oh <laughs> I watch it all the time. She needs to be a cat by her. They need to do like... A, someone needs to do a meme of her as like Katana from <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, there is one. Oh, dang it. Come on, internet. <laughs> at, it, don't let me down. Good job. What S, you got, Gabo? S for me. Ooh. It's a perfect game. S. Wow. I love it. Everything. Music, gameplay, yeah. graphics. Beautiful. So good. A lot of elements that look like Batman, uh, the game. We looked at that before. I was showing Chris some gameplay. Some I didn't play this one. Yeah, so I'm going to have to pass on this one too. But you did show me the gameplay, and it does look very similar to Batman, yeah. which was one of my favorite games on NES. So good. Like, music. unbelievable da, 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 game. Yeah. Da, 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 da. A S. So S, huh? S. <laughs> Dude, I... Wow. I feel like I shouldn't rank this because I didn't play it enough. I played it, but I didn't play it enough to okay. give it like a full ranking. Hey, we'll take our we'll take our A yeah, yeah, right over here, bro. I don't want to bring it down. <laughs> we'll take our A and S right here. All right, next one. Uh, we'll put it. We won't we won't justify it. I'm gonna save it super C for the last, just because who has Tiny Tune in their wheelhouse? Anybody? I have played it. What's your I thoughts? don't remember it much. Dang it, Christopher. I, know. <laughs> I have played it. <laughs> have you played it? Yes. Uh, C for me. C. Yeah. I my memory with the game is a little baked, but I kind of I, I yeah see it's a little baked. I got you. yeah. Uh, solid B for me. It's kind of what I feel like a 
people say it's like a dumbed down version of Super Mario 3. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but it's it's kind of what you would want as a kid, right? You want the platformer, you want a side scroller. That's what kind of what you're growing up with. It's cute, it's good. It, I feel like it hits all the checks of a good game, but doesn't do any particular part like crazy better than others. That's the one that Buster goes so fast, like yeah, and then always you can, running. And yeah. Ducky as well, you can switch to characters, which is yeah. a, a, another great element. In yeah. games. You can switch characters. Solid B for me. I give it a B too. Yeah. It was great. It's more nostalgia, that's what. <laughs> I think it's a good game, even nostalgia aside. I think it, it holds a good spot. I don't think it has any necessarily like big flaws that would bring it down. But now, I've been waiting on my S. I got Super C loaded up. Boys, before I scream, somebody give me a grade, because I, I could talk for an hour on this one. Solid S. Let's go. Perfect, perfect game for me. Perfect balance in the difficulty. Mm. Graphics amazing. The music is like a big step up from the original one. I love it. S. S. Let's go. Christopher. I actually like the original better than this one. That doesn't mean you can't. You have to bring this one down, okay? <laughs> we're, remember, we're not think comparing. It we're ranking. It down. <laughs> think it does. That's racist. <laughs> you son of a gun. Um, I did like it, but man, I still when I if I had to choose between the original or this one, I would take the original. There's something about the original that is just hits home for me. I love that game yeah, so much. Yeah, it's easier. So I'm gonna give it an A. Oh dang it! Yeah. Was, we didn't. Oh, so we're not getting a, 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 a S game this this list every every once in a while we get a, a game or something where it's all s's but we're not hitting it this time ricky uh i'm with chris actually the first one was my favorite but i do love this one because i think this is the one we fight that weird funky robot where it's like it, it stuns while you hit it i i loved it i actually did like it so i'm you know what s for super c <gasps> chris you're gonna ruin it you dang it darn diddly idiot you made me mad 100 percent s i think it's Contras are good. All, to be fair, all the Contras are good games. They're so good. Um, Super C is well, the best. Well, not all. So not Contra uh, Force. Not and all. some of the PlayStation, well, the PlayStation ones. ones. Yeah. Well, if we're talking 8 bits or and 16 bits. Contra yes, Force. Yeah. Everything is good. Even Contra Force. It's I still like good. It. It's just there's a lot of lag. I think that the mistake with that game is putting the name Contra, but it's a good game. Agreed. Okay, but yes, uh, Super C. I find the difficulty to be perfectly balanced. Yeah, it's hard, but it's also if you understand a run and gun game, you can get far in this. I have my my praise on this one that I did at. I've talked about it before. Oh, yeah. I was at my buddy NES Addict's house, and they put it in, and I hadn't played it in like probably fifteen years. And they're like, "All right, let's put it in," and and, we'll, and they were recording, so it's on camera. And they're like, "All right, whenever someone dies, multiplayer will switch players." I almost beat the game without getting touched, and I hadn't played it in like fifteen <laughs> in like fifteen years. And to be fair, I lost because my friend, I said, I don't know what to do on this boss. And he said, hold left. You go to the left, he can't hit you. I held left and I got shot. And I was like, dude, you son of a gun. I feel like he didn't want me to, to get a perfect run on camera first try. I give it to you. You're Captain Ron. No, I'm not. Games. I'm not tooting my horn. I'm just you telling are. an experience. You, you, you are. are pretty don't, good at shooters, don't come though. here like, Ugh, not. Yes, you are. I'm not trying to <laughs> you my are. feathers. You are. This might be a dumb question, but did the Konami code work on this one? I don't remember. We didn't yes. use it. If I so, I don't remember if it did. Yeah. If it, it did, did we didn't use I think it. it. I think I think the Konami works works in every Contra game, in every across game? platforms. There, were, I didn't think not. It's not the third one. There were some other like Auto. indie games. It worked on that one, did it? I think yeah. I think it works in all Contra games, all even in the DS one. There was even some indie games recently that did that as well. Really? Yeah. Who mm. did that? But okay, so. Let's wrap this baby up, and we'll say, I think the tops, there was kind of a few that kind of hit that top tier mark, like Bucky O'Hare, Super C, um, Castlevania, and Double Dribble landed at the lowest end of the stick, which is still a fun game, but it just didn't, the nostalgia wasn't strong enough to hold us. All right, <laughs> boys, we're on to our next topic here. Oh, he walks in. Just uh, everybody, time. Time. welcome. Yeah. 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 He's in, baby. That beanbag chair does fit for me. Oh, wait, wait. Stop, man, I, I like the brown go. Curtis more. <laughs> the brown Curtis, bro. Uh, Curtis, you know what, my friend? You know what? You're here. Yeah. I'm not even going to step on your parade. Why don't you welcome us okay, in to right. topic number three? All right. Curtis, wait. Do you want to feel really cool? I'm warning you. This is going to make you feel really cool. Let's do it. Do you want to use the tablet? All right. All right. Sheesh, <laughs> baby. Let's go. I normally print these out. So, I mean, it's just a little different to be able to go off of that. But yeah. anyway, we're going to go on to our next topic. It's going to be, why do game collectors never finish a set before switching? Ooh, I think oh. everyone's going to get a little solid bombastic side eye on this one. 
This is huge in the collecting scene. Huge. Everybody and their mom. I'm going to collect. Uh, you stop it because you're my first victim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, I was going to say I'm the perfect example. It's, that's why we're glad you're here. But And it, it's very common. I've been guilty five times. Being excited. <laughs> probably more. Be, <laughs> more. More. Being excited on YouTube, which is normal, right? We're just excited about what we're doing. We're excited to be playing video games. We love the games. But, you know, like, I'm going to collect for the Sega Master System. That's my thing. I'm going to collect for Sega Genesis. I'm going to finish this set. Ladies and gentlemen, all of us in this room, not one of us nope. have finished a set. No there shot. are very few. No shot. <laughs> no shot. No <laughs> shot. Let's start with I Gabo. I think I'm going to be the first one in, well, the, in the squad that's going to finish entire. Like straight up? Yes. Okay, so here, let, let's let's jump into that. Let's let's give. If I don't count uh, stadium event. Oh, then it doesn't count. Oh, that's okay, cool. So, but listen, <laughs> here, let's jump in. We have to remember for people who don't know the show, Gabo is working on the NES set. How many deep are you right now? I'm um, after this weekend, I'm like 460. Okay. So the big topic with this is that most collectors will say they're going to finish. Never do. They move on to something else. They really never do. Uh, obviously, there's a ton of people who do. Shout out to all of you. Retro Ghetto and Andy and Mort and all these people. They all do it. There are people. But the vast majority from doing this for so long, <laughs> most people tap out long before they're close. Let's hear your story. Okay. Uh, actually, I... In the, I would say the last month, when I got the Flintstones, yep, that's a for a, for a normal people that will be the excuse to stop, because you know I, I got all the bangers, but after this week and this past weekend, I realized I still need a couple of bangers, and what are the big bangers that you still need? Uh, well, I, I, I just got a Snow Bros, Tournament Fighters. And I think those are the most expensive that I was missing. But I still need like Ghost Lion, things like 100, 150. Which is still rough because yeah. if there's 100 games left that are 150 bucks, so, it's like crap. Can Definitely I ask you that. something real quick? Yes, sir. Do you think I did the right thing going for the bangers first and, and ending with the lowest one, like the sports games? I think it's very interesting. I will give you that. I actually give you some credit for that because at first I was like, that's kind of weird. You're going to go broke. But at the same <laughs> time, it was an interesting take on it. And I feel like I don't think your last hoorah when you finish is going to feel as victorious if you were doing the bangers last. Well, you probably will because of stadium events. But I think it's going to make it. <laughs> I think it's going to make your journey feel a little easier as time goes on because it's like I already got that out of the way. Sometimes I, I think it was a mistake, but. That's how I feel about my life sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, because uh, I I bought last weekend, I bought a, a lot of sports games, mm. and I really enjoy it. Nice. I still, for the NES, I still feeling, I still have that feeling of like, I never seen that game before. Oh, yeah. And it's a sport game. And I was, for example, I was with... Like rollerblade racing or yeah, something? Yeah, I was like with John Ricks, and he was like... Oh, this is a rare one, and he's like, a, it was like a box game, and and he happened with a monster truck game and a golf game, and I never seen those before. So, and a part of that is a good excuse for me to jump to the Super NES too. But, but is valid or not? I don't know. I That's did. hard because I th are you planning on finishing Super Nintendo? Yes. So, uh, but don't you think? Wait, everything that I start. Every hole uh -huh. that I start, I plan to to finish. But, that's but don't the key you think word. that's gonna burn you a hole in your pocket? Like, <laughs> yes. Well, no, no. From, yeah, listen. Well, that's the burden that comes. But listen, right. jumping in those holes. Here's where I, th here's where I think. <laughs> I, here's where I think it's gonna get complicated, right? Because you're in the early phase of jumping ship to the next one, right? So NES, about halfway through, you want to move on to the SNES. Who's to say when you're in the SNES hole halfway through and be like, well, now I should jump to this, but you still haven't finished NES, Ooh, Super Nintendo, and then it might point. because. Us as doing this for 10 years, not intentionally collecting, but there's been a ton of consoles where I'm like, hey, we're actually getting kind of close. Yeah. But because through time you're just kind of going at it, I'm not even shaming you for this. I'm just asking. No, yeah. Shame. shame. Yeah. I think, I, think, <laughs> shame, no. I think it's just interesting because, like, um, you are going for the bangers on both. So, I, I mean, you are I feel going like that would be a little bit more difficult on your it conscience. Is, it is funny and strange because. For the Super NES hall, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't, I don't want to do this. 
With your accent, it does not sound hey, like you're saying. Can you explain the whole NES thing? The whole thing real quick. The whole, what Gabba does, NES hole. I it means, it means like. It, it's a joke. It, the yeah, whole yeah. basically it, it, means me doing this. Dude, I really like uh, this Donkey Kong plush. I'm just going to pick up one. I like it. Ten months later, you're like, I need every Donkey Kong thing in existence. <laughs> it's a joke that start. Yeah, I think like that was us. Yeah. Like it's an empty hole that needs to be filled. Yes. Well, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give you the credit. It's, it was your idea. I remember that. Yeah, it was you the first one that, oh, that's a hole. Yeah. I'm going to jump to that hole. I don't want to jump in that hole. Yeah. I, was, I like it. Oh, I like it. So anyways, um, I'm trying not to to commit the same mistakes that I did with any with NES, hmm. with the Super NES hole. But I, I already did it, so I'm what, screwed. What, <laughs> I, oh, right, yeah. what is your method for collecting? Do you only collect what you find in the wild? Will you go on eBay and buy stuff? That's one of the mistakes that I did uh, with uh, NES Hall. Mm. Because I bought, a, for example, Bucky, I bought it on eBay. Wait, was it, was, it, a, was it, it a good deal? Yes. Well, then it might not be a mistake. Can, you want me to say price real you quick? You can, totally. CIB, Kay. I bought it for 380 CIB 380. Now, like now don't price. don't get mad at me here. You not, check price charting. No, I'm going to okay. check price charting CIB. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, be awesome if I had better internet, and then I could really check for you guys. <laughs> I, think like, I think it's like 600 bucks. Okay, you guys Something keep like talking that. while I look. What, what I was going to say I think will be interesting for you, though, while well, I will look in a second, um, is you're going to have fun, though. Obviously, like that release at the end of getting that big banger, again, might be stadium events, but if not, and you get those first. I'm not going for stadium well, events. Well, you never know. It can happen in the wild. Well, but, if I won the lottery. Well, what is fun for you is you still have, like you said, the, the common easy stuff. It is fun to still be like, I went to a convention about 150 games that I needed, and you only spent the price you would have on Flintstones. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like that's a good tactic, getting the big bang. Actually, it happens, early. Uh, it happens last weekend. Well, because I would think a lot of people would get burnt out by the time yeah. they get all the, the the low ones, the mid ones, they start getting up to the big bangers. That's when they tap out, because they're like, oh, yeah. geez, this is going to cost me $10,000 to complete this. Yeah. Now, I True. think of it like in the opposite way, because it's like, I'm going to be sitting on a lot of cash that's just going to sit on games you know what i mean before you get to like those bangers you get all the easy ones right and then you can see how much you can start buying per because it's over time right you're not trying to go for the biggest things first that's when you're going to be sitting on the most cash that's what i think would you, you have pay, a little samson what'd you pay for yeah. bucky o'hare cib uh 380 do you have a little oh, samson? junkie copy yes. <laughs> yeah. i'm trying to find a Looking decent okay <laughs> yeah around this one last sold for 400 there's one that sold for 900 there's yeah. one that sold for 800. Yeah, so I'd say so. You did so good. that's one of the mistakes that I commit in the NES hole. I'm not doing that with Super NES, and also I promised myself not to buy CIB games for Super NES. But I already <laughs> broke that with me. <laughs> oh yeah, you got Street Fighter Two. So, uh, it's a complete but, box but, from me. Yeah, and 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 all <laughs> and other games that I'm not going to spoil <laughs> spoil because of. The, Videos coming. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it'll probably go out by then. I guess the question yeah. for all of you guys is, is if like you guys have tried to complete a set, what would be the hardest part that you think when you were trying to do that? Ricky? Is because me and him when we first started when we when we started doing trying to do the the full sets, we would only do swap meet. So our thing would be like whatever we found, that's what we started collecting. Like there was a, there was months where we only found Dreamcast. We were close to almost almost completing Dreamcast. When we find a lot of NES stuff, oh, you know what? We don't need the Dreamcast. Let's go to the NES well, now. It was other times, too. That's true. It was other other times. What's interesting, too, is money plays a huge part into this, right? Yes. Collecting the set can be very, it's very much for your situation, right? Back then, you're on a budget. We're doing whatever. But there was times even recently where I've joked where I've just bought lots. This isn't like a money thing, like a money flex. But it's just like, hey, that guy wants to sell me his collection. Wow, I just bought 400 NES games today. Yeah. Can I ask you something you know real I mean? quick? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go for it. I like it when you interrupt me. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one I like it from. But you have to look at me in the eyes when you do it. <laughs> Shima. Shima, let's go. Yo. Anyways, visualize yourself as a collector. You are in a hole, right? Huh? Visualizing. I'm there. Are you, are you will have fun if you buy a big lot with 50 NES games and you don't have any of those games you think that's valid it, it makes me you? happy that's awesome yeah. i have fun with it yeah. yeah to be honest i don't find it fun that way 
Really? Yes. But that's me. You want to yeah. find them one at a time? Yeah, because that's the the journey. It's the thrill of the journey and the hunt. But even the journey, if you do it at a normal pace, like us doing what we've done for ten years, like yeah. even when I let's say this, we had a show called the NES Pursuit. Yeah. That's what I looked for. Within, let's say that just the retro liberty days, for those who don't know, yeah. our original channel, just for like that four year period, I didn't sell anything. I picked up whatever NES games I would find. I probably ended up only picking up like four hundred something within that four year period. Look at you now, a reseller's comeback. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, yes. Reseller's comeback, but want me I, to you want me to finish the NES set tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> but, I can do it if you want me to. Yeah, but where's, where's going to be, hey, where's going to be the challenge and the fun? Doing that, reselling it all. But I, but I guess. <laughs> hey, that, that's the difference between you and me. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, we we have been hey. doing this for ten years. I know, I know, I know. That I, actually, I was thinking about that. Like, I, I, like, I'm seeing like people like John Hancock, you guys, yeah, yeah, Metal Jesus, yeah, you know, John Ricks. They have been doing this for so long. Yes, that they have to do like a evolution and do something else you have to yeah yes so so if i'm still collecting nes games only 11 years later there's something wrong with me <laughs> like i gotta like yeah, i gotta so keep going keep finding new things to collect yeah because that's yeah. what i'm always gets looking lost. for you that's know, how i got into collecting t-shirts i even collect cds awesome. comic books you know what like, i'm scared pail. to get to that garbage point. pail yeah. i'm scared to get to that point and yeah. probably that's why sometimes when i show you what i got you're like oh dude that's awesome I miss those days. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You sometimes you tell me that yeah. online. I find yeah, the I, best I, thing is when you do find a new thing to collect for. When you first start yes. collecting for something, it yeah. is. I remember by when far I found VHS funnest. again. I was like, oh baby. Yeah, the like, collect. It oh, it's amazing. I know. What, and but you'll get there again. Again, not that you yeah. lose the passion. Never lose the passion. Yeah, I no. still, still to this day, when I find an NES game, I get all happy. You have to inside. collect yeah. something. You just have to make sure that you're having, no matter what it is, I don't care if you're a scumbag reseller or you're anything, whatever you're doing, as long as you're having fun doing it, that's the validation. Everybody, everybody has the right to do whatever they want to yeah. do with, with their games. How they want to do it. Yeah. Yep. For me, I never wanted to go for full sets. As much as I would love to go for NES full set, it's just um, space constraints more than anything. I was yeah. always worried about it. I didn't want to put in my house the big wall. So I've always just gone for, I like collecting the top five to 10 rarest games for literally every platform. Oh, cool. It could be awesome. Wii, it could be PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. I collect the top 10 oh. games I like the best. <laughs> that, could be, this, that could be a whole nother topic. Collecting things that you don't even like. I don't. But like, what's the big one for we? Like third blind or it's chess. Oh, that's Wii U. Yeah, I don't have Fritz. Devil's, Devil's, Devil's third. Devil's third. I have a Wii Devil's U. third. Like, I'll collect all those really rare games. Devil sold that one all too. All those garbage I games. Saw it. Garbage low trash. Games. <laughs> yeah, I'll never play that. But I like collecting that way. Yeah. But that way, it's space. I only have ten for each system. But I'm collecting the whole gamut. I mean, for Sega Master System to 32X. Which you X. also ranked low. You <laughs> fake collector, you. I think that's the most important thing every collector, man, is the space. It's space. Oh, it's huge. It's the space. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to repeat myself here. After I'm done with the NES whole collection, 75%, I'm going to sell it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sell it. you want to play. I, you know what? To be honest, I start doing kind of uh, business of you know showing somebody like okay you need this game after i'm done i'm gonna sell it to you oh nice you have it for them yeah i mean what is wrong with that i don't i not i don't have the space i know i'm not going to play those games yeah but let me tell you what's wrong with it nothing okay cool. but the internet that, will tell you there is <laughs> oh yeah there's always gonna be there's all, always gonna all be Hey, look at me! I'm a pro. <laughs> we talked I, last night. There, I, I feel like I feel like ten feet high <laughs> behind a keyboard. Man, I wish, <laughs> yeah, we'll, I, we'll talk about that later. I on. wish the audio <laughs> listeners could see, could hear this one. <laughs> yeah. Will you try to sell it as a whole lot once you complete it, or will you piece it, it out? You it, think? Uh, my my. You said piece it out. We asked you this before. Yes, yes. Oh, did we ask? Yeah, that? Yeah. I couldn't remember. I like, would try to old help. man forgetting. I, yeah. <laughs> I would try to help. <laughs> yeah, he's getting on. Getting old. I will. I will try to help. Other collectors, yeah, yep. like like other collectors and sellers are helping me, right? So that's what I'm trying to do, and I guess the sports games and the cheapy one is gonna be Rifo. Yeah. There you go. 
Here's my double dribble. <laughs> yeah. 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 You want those bla that red label, Blades of Steel? Maybe you can flip it. In one yeah. There you go. I always love it when people like give a little hate for like when they're buying it from a re like you have. If you're buying something at a convention, you're buying it from a reseller, and the person buying it's like, yes. don't worry, it's for my collection. I'm not a reseller. I'm like, you realize the guy you're buying it from right behind you is a reseller. Yes. Like, the, the, I don't know what to tell you here. Like everybody at some point, like, did you go buy milk at the store today? Yeah. Surprise, you bought from a reseller. It, like, it, <laughs> like it, you know, every time that I think about it, and I'm guilty. Too. We all I, are. I'm not saying I'm I'm, I'm the purest here. Oh, he's the me. most guilty. But I'm guilty too. Secret but guilty. but I, no, I came to realize like, what's wrong? Is my games? Is my life? Is my my wallet? Is my space? Why you have to? Where is the camera? Where is the main? Uh, let's see. We <laughs> have to write, this one. This one. Hey, hey, hey! Tell him, Gabo. Hey! Oh. Come on! Relax! Yeah. <laughs> but hey, just so you know, we're, that'll be a topic we're bringing up today, too. So yeah, no, save no. your screaming at the camera. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I got I, I drink uh, energy drink, so Ooh, I got to go wild. Perfect. No, but, but to end this, you know, rambling or whatever, come on, man. It, there's nothing wrong what you do with your stuff. Yes. Right? So he's selling his stuff. That doesn't mean... He's a reseller. Come back, and you have to crucify him, right? Of course not. I, mean, he, he's like I literally he, don't care, though. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, well, I don't well, care well, what people say. <laughs> see, that's another thing. I I need to learn not to care. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's part of the well, conversation we had last well, night. Well, it's interesting when like people in the community be like, "You sold your games. You don't care." And I'm like, "Do you realize my shirt collection is probably worth more than the NES set? Like, I collect certain but, other things but think, as well. Think about it. You really care." Because you're selling it in a platform to other collectors to buy it. Totally. And you're making people happy. Yeah, so, this is what I have never understood about the hate for resellers. It's all a big circle. It's like, a giant I, circle. I, I, you collect and you sell, I then you go it, collect man. something else and you sell. The premise that, oh, you collect and then have to hang it out, hang on to it for your whole life. I, like, where did I that come from? I think as long as it finds an appreciative end, end goal, like yeah. end user, then that's where it should be. As long as everybody I mean, along the way is enjoying what they either are collecting or sold it for, whatever. At some point, you know, people will get hate, like, for the amount they sold it for. Like, oh, that reseller, you underpaid him. He's happy. If he made his money, he's happy. Okay. Now, you do what you Here, want yeah. with it. Let me finish this. Finish you... him. Finish me. <laughs> Whoa. Late... Wow. Okay. Uh, combat hey, style. That. Uh, <laughs> <pause the podcast. laughs> We're not so, editing nothing. We're, uh, no, no, uh, we <laughs> go with it, dude. <laughs> it is happiness. Hop. 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 <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yes, Cabo? <laughs> it is happiness. Again. Happiness. It is happy for you having video game store and reselling. It makes oh, you happy. beyond. Yeah, it completes my life. It is happy for you selling whatnot. I love it. It is happy for you selling whatnot. It's happy and sad. I'm <laughs> just kidding. That's happy. <laughs> no. well, I, I know. Nah. It is happy for you selling your oh, stupid yeah. papers. Hey, whoa, yes. <laughs> we keep. I don't oh, know how. Yeah. I, so, wait, I wait, have got. Yeah, I've got. Hey, I've got, hey, I've got hey, okay. I came to the realization that the only way I can get here. rid of something is I have to archive it, and that's about it, and then I can ready to. He spell. does archive it. But, but he it makes it. you happy, right? Yeah, yes. of course. Okay, so all of you trolls out there, shut up! Oh, <laughs> whoa. That's it. <laughs> Sorry. The, the thing dark. is, I don't know how this is so hard for people to understand. Yeah. Keep what you want. Don't keep what you don't want. Like, yeah. where is the where is like the disconnect where the comments will like dive into a way of figuring out a way to, way to tear that apart? It's like, no, no, no. That's yeah. that's all you need. Keep what, what is, you want, and if you don't want it, don't he, keep it. And if you a, don't want it, and you do keep it, you're the one who has a problem. Yeah. Don't keep things you don't want. Right. Here's the thing. It, that's why I get so frustrated and pissed off. Why people has to be mad because you want to sell something. I have never understood it. Since I, since I started collecting and I opened my stores, I never understood I, this premise. I, I get and, it. and I think it's taken years, and we've talked about it before, for finally, I thought we were at the point where reselling was okay I and like accepted. Yeah. I think it's a but, lot of peer pressure from the internet. Yeah. I think it's like anything, right? You hear something enough, you believe it to be true. It, w it was so heavy in the retro scene that you don't... Resell, but you're I think it's getting you're better. You're a loser if you do. I know I it is getting, it's getting better. getting way better. But that mindset is still there for a Who lot. Who cares? I, 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 again, I'm, I'm guilty because I, I've been talking smack, and 
saying, oh, what a resource scumbag. I don't want to be like that. Yeah, you called us one like 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> But lately, okay, but, but but us. <laughs> for the past <laughs> year, you're one of us. Bro, it's like eating at him. You can tell he's like the scumbag. Can you give me a spot in what not next week? Absolutely. All right, cool. Here's the thing, though. Gabo the scumbag. It's weird when the collecting scene like thinks you don't collect unless you're collecting like NES games. It's like, why do you think that's what collecting is? If I was into collecting matches, that could it's the same thing. <laughs> I never underst I never understood every time you say, I collect money. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I did a video like that a long time ago. I never released it because I thought people I would get too it, mad. And I and filmed a video saying, dude, this is my best collection ever. I love it. I'm really passionate. And I turn around and I just start showing different do dollar bills on my wall. Do you know? So <laughs> I, just, to, just to jump in, though, but I do, just to play devil's advocate, maybe what I've, I've been thinking about this recently, maybe why some people don't like the reselling is they do feel if you're a reseller, you don't appreciate the stuff That's not that true, you're selling. Though. That's not but true. For us, we are all collectors. There are people who don't. And when we go to, say, the flea markets, right, there are certainly resellers there that are just it. straight, do not, they're not collecting this stuff. They mm -hmm. don't care. So I think there is a difference between maybe that kind of reseller versus you're a collector reseller, yeah. which is what we all are. Of course, we all love this stuff we're collecting I agree and with reselling. You. I agree with you 100%, but... It's still it's not still wrong. Not, it's still not wrong. It's like, not we wrong. deal with those resellers all the time. I don't have any hate, like, oh, you're a scumbag. You don't appreciate these video games. You're, like, you're selling me something that I want. I'm happy you're selling it to me. Yes. So I, I still don't understand it, but I feel like maybe that. that's where that, it that comes is, from. That does clarify a lot of the that type of reseller. But in the end, it, you may not like it, but it's still not wrong. Right. It's Of course. Yeah. yeah. It's not, in my opinion. The world wouldn't exist. Right. If we didn't have that. But you we know, also live in capitalism, which is everything is bought and resold. USA. Everything. USA. 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 We better go to the next All topic. Right. <laughs> All right, you guys. We're going to end on that one. We're going to go on hey, our next that topic. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, now I need to go to the restroom. Oh, no. <laughs> Just go. We'll keep rolling. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it going. See ya. Go to the restroom. Well, all right. Keep going. Oh, you can hold it. I'll be Come back in, bro. We'll hold it. All right. We're going to go on our next topic, guys. It's going to be agree or disagree. But this one's going to be a little bit more interesting today. It's going to be by our fan submittals. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this was fun. Curtis and oh. I were like, hey, let's take it to the internet and let them ask questions. Nice. Yeah. This is going to be fun. Where's well, the restroom? Uh, straight out the door, Beto will let you go. Gabo will be right back. We'll still keep going without you, bro. Hey, give me a high five. Yeah, you hey. can just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a high five, high five car, dude. See you when you get back. <laughs> wait, wait, are you going poop or pee? Uh, number pee pee. Oh, so oh. it'll be quick. All right. <laughs> Unload that boy. So for now, Chris, me, and Ooh, Ricky. I'm excited for this. Fan yeah. submittals. This yeah, be good. So it'll be pretty interesting gonna, on this we'll, one. We'll shout him out, too. Uh oh, I, nice. I got this thing turned off. That's not oh, I got you, bro. Go ahead. You read it, bro. All right, we're going to go on to our first one. What's and our first? It's going to be... Give me one second while I get my. It's gonna be. It's gonna be by Miguel De Delgado seven two zero nine. Shout out Miguel Delgado. Miguel. Yeah. Shout out Miguel. Thank you for being a great viewer out here. Yeah. Yep. And uh, it's gonna be. I could play just one genre of video games for the rest of my life. I could play one, one genre, genre of video video games for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I could. And I'd be happy. Thumbs up for me. <laughs> Ricky and Chris. <laughs> Ricky's in real deep thought. thought. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I guess I could. Okay, we're all yeah. agreeants here. All right. Yeah. What now? Now uh, the obvious question. You know, you know what? I'm gonna change it. Ooh, no, I'm gonna yeah, disagree. Go. Well, well, before, so Chris is a disagree. We're both agrees. What What was your genre that you could be okay with? Uh, it was a side scroller. Okay, same. <laughs> I was, like, I, I was a Metroidvania type type games. I loved those. Oh, that's what I my favorite type of games. But then I was like, dang, I would get bored after a while. Like I love playing. All different types of games. I'll play first-person shooters. I'll play real-time strategy games. I'll play turn-based strategy, you know, uh, RPGs. Uh, so I love all sorts of games. So I so, think I would disagree with that. So, but Metroidvania not. is your favorite type of game. It is. Yes. Nice. Welcome back, Gabo. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you wash your hands? No. Nope. I was going to. Watch my <laughs> I Chihuahua. Let me smell them. <laughs> let me yeah, feel let me smell them. Oh, they they're clean, smell, baby. They clean. <laughs> Those are clean. All right, let's do the next one since do he's in here. You don't want to read it to him? Nah, let's, right. we're on the next right. one now, bro. All right, we're going to go on our next one. It's going to be by Ava Full. All right, that's the username, and it's going to be, There should be more gateway horror shows like Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, this oh. is interesting. So Gabo definitely is confused by this, <laughs> by these words. Yeah, um, so, say it again. There should be more gateway wait, horror, horror shows. Yeah, like Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark. So, so Gabo, I'm going to explain it to Gabo in case the rest of the audience is listening with the same face Gabo is. So there's horror movies, right? It's not typically something you show small children, right? So a gateway horror would be like Goosebumps, 
chillers, things that are like, are you afraid of the dark? Scary kid shows. Like, like a PG horror movie. He, yeah, yeah. More Should there be more well, of that you will type show of stuff? to your eight years old. Yeah, without feeling like, oh gosh, I just showed him someone's head getting ripped off. I'm going to say, read it one more time so I can give it a proper yeah, thumbs up. Or there should be more gateway horror shows like Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark? I'm going to say no. I'm going to agree big Chris time. This is going to agree. Gabo's thinking. Ricky's thinking. It's 2023, so... Exactly. <laughs> 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 uh, I, the, the, here's the thing. I'm, I'm super OG, man, so... No, thumbs down. You either, yeah. you either want him crazy or yeah, not at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, Ricky? Show, show. He, he wants I to mean, introduce Tales of the Crypt. I did enjoy yeah. Goosebumps back in the <laughs> day, so I'll say yeah. Okay. I'll jump in on yeah, this because yeah. it was funny because I actually, we were at the uh, flea market over the weekend and I said to your son, uh, Brixton, and I asked him, hey, do you watch horror movies? And he goes, no, not really. I don't. And I was like, well, what about Goosebumps? I actually brought that up to him. Yeah. And he said he had seen them. He had seen it. We did it at a family movie night one time. Yeah. We did like the TV shows. And so it was just interesting that we had actually just talked yeah. about that. But for me, I am a huge horror movie fan. Same. Like all this month, which is October now, yeah. this might come out later, but yes. we're in October now. October I, fest. I watch um, a horror movie every night. I go through all my VHS. I try to get my wife and kids to watch, kid to watch it with me, my son. They refuse to, so I watch them solo. But so I'm more of a fan of for this question of like, I like the goosebumps and stuff because like your son is a little bit younger, like getting them into the horror, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like introduce them into it. So yes, I'm. I, I, like I more it. looked at it as the, the the statement of like, we don't necessarily need it. Per se, not like that was more of the question. Like we need more gateway. I don't necessarily think we need the gateway, but I think that it's cool when they're there. I guess I'm just always been very hesitant lately of like forced media for the sake of media. I think it's led us to a lot of crappy media. You yeah. know what I mean? I get it. The new South Park. Thing. I, I, <laughs> I, I see it like playing Call of Duty without blood. Oh, oh so that, it's like playing Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo. It's like, exactly. That's how I see it. Which, by the way, Chris, I think Mortal Kombat and Super Nintendo is a better game besides uh, the blood. Then which one? More, than Genesis. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Way okay. better. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Way better. It controls better. It plays. Yes. I thought you were going to hound me and be like, the Mortal Kombat no, and yeah. Genesis is the better. The music, no, everything. No, Super Nintendo, okay. way better. It's the closest to the arcade. I did just took my son to, I think it was this, remember the book, Scary Stories? Yeah. And uh, with the crazy artwork? Yes. I took my son to that movie maybe like two years ago. He might have been 12. And so I thought he was old enough to see that. Oh, that was a really up. scary movie. Uh, There's a scarecrow scene in there. Like, huh. Scarecrow Comes to Life. Remember that one? I love uh, scarecrows. Yeah. It, oh my, he ran out of the, the movie theater. That's my favorite Ooh, film. Oh, <laughs> he ran out crying. And he was like, Dad, I didn't want to see that. And I was like, dang, I felt really bad. I feel like there's Oh, be my God. Yeah. So my kids, uh, you know, not to call them out, but they are so not like it's just not their thing like and i've never tried to push it never but like really? even them just seeing in i mean they can you can talk to my kids about like hey the mafia is a real thing and they they won't sleep if you even talk about it <laughs> oh so you don't want no to it see frightens it. the heck, it, heck out it frightens the heck out of my son yeah and man That's I, I felt because really you're not like that i know yeah. but they just they don't like that stuff at I'm, all i'm so numb to it now oh so <laughs> I, I, mean, I feel like there should be like more like twilight zone type of feels that's a great one. Oh, twilight zone okay, was that, awesome see, that was that's, a good that's date, very right? adult and anybody yeah and i watched that as a ton as a kid man that was twilight cool. zone is so good talking so tina is one good. of my favorites <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember that i'm talking <laughs> tina and oh. i'm going to kill you <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna go on to our next one it's gonna be by tom malika 420 tom. thank you tom malika, tom malika. Yeah. why 420 tom yeah why <laughs> <laughs> all right and it, it, this is gonna be <laughs> is that mikey <laughs> <laughs> people this one's gonna be people who say deals are dead just aren't looking Thumbs up. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. We popped that door. Thumbs up. Bit. So people that say, thank you, Curtis. People that say deals are dead aren't looking. I am a firm believer. Firm. Oh, firm. Firm. Because even like we oh. see it in the comments all the time. It's dead. You guys are just lucky. People hold stuff for you. The amount of times you go to swap me and see people who are just random. like, hey, dude, check out what I found. Symphony of the Night for five Them bucks buck, last week. Dude. Yeah. It's insane. I got two samples. Brown card. And, and uh, <laughs> you want a deal? Just get a brown card. <laughs> no, no, I, hey, I, hey, I, hey, internet, if you want a good deal, just be Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
no, no. Oh, or, no, or no, wait, wait, what are you? Puerto Rican, El just, Salvadorian, just be, Colombia. Hey. Just be a little just bit more of a tint than white. Brown is the just don't white. look like Curtis and Ben. <laughs> yeah. hey. Hey. Brown is blue the eyed. new white. <laughs> yeah, you got blue eyes. Don't even ask for <laughs> no, the no, no, no. <laughs> Just walk away. Hey, come on. You We're, know what I'm saying. And the other thing is the Golden West Mafia. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's us. So, I mean... <laughs> There's you. The or you could be like our our, our uh, engineer back there, Beto, bro. He's Hispanic as it gets, but he's white. Beto, what color are your eyes? Green. Beautiful green, green eyes. He, he's the the he's the guy that could pull anything, Dude, a, any car. The, the, the first time Ooh, I met little him, man crush. superhero. The first, the, <laughs> wow. The first time I met him, he starts speaking Spanish. I'm like, Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I, I think it's the, the, the definition of a deal. I think there's a lot of guy, people, not guys, but people out there that just still want to get things for like dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. One dollar. They got stuck on the one dollar. I used to buy NES games for one dollar. And I think a lot of people just get hung up and they get stuck there. The, well, 10 years ago, I paid a dollar. That's not the case anymore. You might have to pay five dollars. I paid yeah. gas 10 years ago. Right, you might have to pay six dollars. <laughs> but we are out hunting. I'm out every single week, whether it's estate sales, garage, I don't do garage sales, flea markets all the time. Um, just meeting people like through the internet, like, oh yeah, I have this collection. Find deals constantly. Um, but that, but the deals that I'm finding are not one dollar all the time. It's like, of course not. It's they're good deals in my opinion. But even when, half price, sixty percent of value deal for me. is good. Yeah. A deal when you see a YouTube video and people are finding stuff. Yes, they're posting their finds, but. They don't just walk up and it magically appears. These people are looking. Most of these people, when they tell you, like game hunting shows, especially back in the day, they're uh, you're, we're uploading the highlight reel, right? We're not giving you the 40 boosts we went to and dug through trash. <laughs> the other thing to keep in mind is if you're tr getting into the flea market, if, if flea marketing is what you're doing and you're rolling in at 10, 11 o'clock, Forget it. The oh, deals yeah. are gone. Oh, yeah. All the we are, hunters. I'm, right. We are, and I used to not be, want to be a vampire hunter. I am a vampire yeah, hunter. Baby, <laughs> we got him. And by vampire hunter, I mean I am up at the crack of dawn. Yeah. The alarm goes off at 4 30 in the morning, oh, and okay. I am there. Especially for estate pitch sales. Black, oh. Estate sales. We are there in the black darkness with oh. flashlights to get the deals. Yep. You know so you got to put in time. You know what? I have to wake up to meet with these guys in this what me? At four. Yeah. Four. Yeah, yep. so you're putting to, in the to work. be there at six. Yeah, just to get those. Curtis lives like five minutes from the swap. I mean, he still gets there at like I, five a.m. I, I, <laughs> I live closer than Curtis yeah. does. I could walk to the swap. Ricky, your deals dead to you? No, dude, deals are everywhere. You just have to look. I guess it's not even about like looking. Sometimes it's just like knowing the right people as well. Like for us, like a lot of times, same vendor. Let's say they 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 bring out a ton of stuff. You. You know, like we said, you overpay for a little stuff, and then they'll bring in other stuff, and they'll they'll, they'll hook it up he we've here. We've said it a million times. You make that communication, baby. You make it where. I mean, we've said it before. He's a yeah. mafia. Dude. We went from people <laughs> not <laughs> knowing. We went from people not knowing us at the swap meet, maybe even not even liking us, to now when we show up, hey, Rip <laughs> Pixel Game Squad, yeah, like they're just like that. That's well, it's your fault, too. I know. But I mean, I think as of recent, it's changed a lot. Because, I mean, like, oh, within yeah. the last year, I mean, I feel like more vendors have been more openly, like, uh, like they're, hey, you're on camera? And they're like, how many subscribers? I think it, like, almost, <laughs> like, I, I almost think, like, recently, really like, is. the whole SWAT meet, like, talked without us there. And, like, hey, these guys, like, have a show. And I feel like, what you, what do you make, what face are you making? He calls uh, us uh, the SWAT meet mafia. No, I was talking with him yesterday, and we was joking for some other. They was making fun of me because, uh... I think in the last two events, I was asking for deals when when the item was already a deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, I was stop it. We've talked about that before. <laughs> <laughs> they was giving me, you know, they was making fun of me. But I was saying, no, no. at least I don't have a mafia in the swap I have, meet. I have to say, Gabos, we're at the swap meet. <laughs> and the homie goes, yo, I have this Hagane manual. It goes for like 500 bucks. <laughs> Gabos like, hmm, okay, I'm going to go really big, give you a big offer, 100. <laughs> I'm like, do you not realize you aren't even offering them remotely close to value? His face it was funny. It. it was funny. It's okay, but you know what is funny? Huh? I tested him like a couple of days after that. He told me, I just sold it. How much did he get? I don't know. He didn't tell me, but. If he sold it, he probably got pretty good. Yeah, well, I'm, pretty I'm happy. I think it's Miguel, his name. Wow. That was so. That was a funny one for me. All right, we're going to okay. go, go on to our next one. It's going to be in by another user, JDog3133. And it's going to be sweatpants or better than jeans? No. Hmm. Oh, big yes. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah so I'm, oh, no, I'm, I'm actually, pants. I'm wearing like those swishies, so I kind of think they're kind of a mix. Okay. I like them. For the swap? Sweats. Oh, man, I'm going to get so much heat in this one. I'm going to have to like cover my eyes when I talk to I, you guys. I switched well, years ago. Like I'll wear jeans when I'm going out with my wife on a Friday night. I won't wear sweatpants out to dinner, but my regular attire now is all sweatpants. Yeah, Chris looks like shorts. a track star I'm when he goes out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> always. I don't wear jeans until it's Friday night. The world's biggest out. red Marlboro backpack and track suit, dude. That's, that's Chris at the swap. Yeah, oh, no. I made the switch to sweatpants. I, it's the best move ever. I don't know how you can do it, bro. I don't want to say everyone's going to hate me. Dude, I work in the field. Never said this out loud before. All week and wearing jeans. And you think I, that, I want to wear jeans in the weekend? Do I get mad that, wedgies? Do you? That's yeah. What, that's what ruined it for me. <laughs> well, I, know, I, I know. I know that. Now you guys know my secret to never stop working. <laughs> Wear shorts. Dress like you're not working. You won't work as hard. <laughs> <laughs> ask my wife. Ask what time I take off my shoes and socks at night. Midnight, one o'clock. All day I'm in full full outfit, fully dressed. Every day. What? All, no, I'm serious. And I know because if I take off my shoes and change into something comfy, I start not working as hard. That's how I do it. I, That's I my thing. I just nice. made this my work attire. This oh, is my work attire. Not, <laughs> yeah. what, what is that? What is that? What was that called when like companies were super into that? Like. Everybody can wear like sweatpants. And, like, there's no doubt. I forget what that's called. Something Tuesdays. It was a. Uh, no, that was Casual Friday. Yeah, casual Friday. Friday. Ricky's on Tuesday. Hey. Hey. Ricky's just thinking so Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. Let's go. It's all our you know, Ricky knows he's going to eat, so he puts on the sweatpants. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Here's the secret. Here's the secret. Let's go. Go to Costco and buy like two or three of the same. So. I got like three of those. I don't well, lift it up too high, man. Yeah, bro. I, <laughs> relax with that, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll be oh, honest. Yeah. Oh, I, I just. just oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, hey. I, I wear. I'm not like this guy. No, real talk. <laughs> real talk. I don't wear sweatpants. I Obviously, you guys aren't. But I, I feel lazy when I'm in them. That's it. So I don't wear them. You just ever. don't have thighs. And by that sweatpants, touch. I'm these are these are like um, Nike. I mean, they're sweatpants, but they're like a different. They're Yours like track. are borderline not sweatpants. That's right, why I would like argue those cotton. are more like workout attire. Right. I'm talking there's, Shady J sweatpants. So there's another reason <laughs> with ball stains and everything. <laughs> why I like this because I go to the gym every morning and I don't need to change. I'm not sweating. I'm not like running a miles like you're running all the time. I can go to the gym in these. I'm not going to go to the gym in jeans. You don't change after you go to the no. gym. No, but I'm just lifting. Bake. Are you wow. working out? Well, yeah, but I just lift. Yeah. But no wow. problem. Wow. Well, you, everybody <laughs> does not. Let him smell his own. <laughs> now, <laughs> now I know what is that smell. <laughs> you, just let him, you just let those things bake all day. Hey, 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 quick. <laughs> You're crazy. I never. I, well, I'm just lifting weights with upper body. And I don't sweat at all. Quick I question. Sweat quick at question all. for you. No, I, you're a very clean guy. Why are you used to run? The khaki pants? I wear shorts, bro. Very I mean, short the khaki shorts. shorts, like those. No, 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 no. I have very short running shorts. They're very thin. Like, they... like, like running shorts. Straight up running shorts. Okay, Five cool. inch inseam, always. Yeah, because you always show us your chest. Like, eh, I'm swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Beto's laughing back there. Well, hey, well, and will I say Gavin yeah. is accurate on that? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Everybody. Well, let me be real. Every time you guys text me. I'm usually running because I run for hours a day. You today, when you, you, when you answer, I th when I you get awesome when you get some you... free time, sometimes <laughs> sometimes we don't have to test him. He sent a message like, "That is not true <laughs> at all." A video <laughs> message, maybe if I'm talking, you, I'll be like, "Hey, what's up? Hey, yeah, guys, I'm got, here." Blah, blah, bro, blah. I got proof. Oh, baby, don't. Hey, bro, I charge for those, all right? Don't show other people <laughs> on the internet. I always say, "Oh, I like it." Give me more. You do. You always do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Hey, bro, what's up? Go lower." <laughs> I always put the icon on. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right, all right. We're gonna probably go on our next one. We're gonna have to continue that a later date with uh, the user fan submittals. But thank, thank you guys awesome. for all doing yeah, that. Thank good. you. Thank you. Well, you got, we got a bunch more on oh. those. So um, anyway, we're gonna go on to our next topic. It's gonna be hiding or deleting comments. Should it be justified? Ooh. Oh boy. So this goes as far as you have a YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel. We're on whatnot together with Curtis. He handles comments. You own a store. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Facebook. So, Hiding and deleting comments. So let, let's get let's let's kind of give this a, a back. It's a very there is a little bit more complexity in it because obviously I'm a huge believer in free speech, right? Huge everything. It's everything to me as a bled you know bleeding red American. Heck yeah, you know free speech. But when you own something or it's your domain, it's your world. You know, I look at YouTube as like our like this is like our place. Like when you click on Pixel Game Squad, our main channel for those who don't know. That's like Pixel Game Squad world. I want it to be just like a business, like 
Disneyland. They want their place to be ran a specific way. They won't even stop you if you're stealing because they don't want it to ruin the magic, right? So I feel like on YouTube, however you want to let your YouTube channel be portrayed is completely up to you if it's, in, if it's something that's within the guidelines of you being allowed to do. If you're allowed to delete comments, whether you like it or not, which we'll go into, and whether we do like it or not, you do have that ability to do it. There is also hide user, which is a great one, <laughs> which is one of my personal favorites. <laughs> we, should, we should tell people who don't have a YouTube channel. So let me, let me, this might hurt some people who don't know. Let's say you've been in our comment section for a very long time saying mean things that just, uh, they're not necessarily, we love constructive con criticism. I actually very much love constructive criticism. But if every week you're just like, Gabo's stupid. Uh, Riff, if you put on weight, uh, Ricky's dumb. I don't like the way his wife talks. We can hide you and you don't know you're hidden. You're <laughs> excited every week when you leave that comment. Oh, I got him again. You can see your comment. Nobody else can. I know you're signing into all your alternate accounts and liking it to make yourself feel good, but nobody else can see that comment. So there's a lot of different things you can do to you can ban people. I'm not a fan of banning people per se, but I'm curious. And I'll go into my thoughts. That's not like my deep thoughts about should you be deleting? Do do we delete? Ooh, there we go. Yeah, what oh. is the justification? Ha, have too? we done it yet? Mm -hmm. uh, let's jump into you first, which is interesting because we're on the YouTube side. You're on Instagram, a store. What is like where your level of like feeling like you need to delete things or remove things or do you and you just let it roll? So we, uh, I've been running the Instagram and Facebook with the stores for probably 13 years now. I have, I don't even know. 20, 30,000 followers between all the platforms. When we first opened the store uh, and I got on social media, yeah, it, there was just toxic comments, the comments that used to come in. Initially, I was like, man, I don't want to, I didn't want to get into banning people. I felt like, okay, well, you should have the right to say whatever you want to say. I've since moved way far away from that. I'm in the realm of like, this is my space. Like, this is our stores. If you don't You're like- my space? No, no like, I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> but this is like, my, you know, my space with the stores, like you said with the, your YouTube channel. If you're not a fan of what we're doing and you're just here to hate on it, then you just don't belong here, you know? And it's not that you don't have the right to have an opinion, you do, but you're just being nasty after a while. I, I've just gotten to the point where I don't have time for it. If somebody's going to leave a nasty comment I just block instantly I just don't want to deal with it now there's varying degrees of what's nasty if you don't like the price of something that's not nasty I'm not going to block you that, for that. and that's constructive criticism that's constructive criticism hey, but if you come on and just go you guys are a bunch of idiots your stores suck like it's like well you're not a good customer you're never going to shop at our stores I don't even want you in this community my community which is the store community what I've you never know? understood on that line is so many people let's I mean, we'll say we'll use Phoenix Resale as an example, right? I've seen it before. People who go in there week after week and talk trash. Where's what camera am I on? What am I on? Let's see. Probably oh, this one. The black Th that one. Black. No, I'm on this one. This one. Why are you there? Like, what is wrong with you mentally that you think you need to keep going into someone that you don't enjoy watching? It's like we talked about earlier with collecting. If you're not enjoying it, why are you doing it? You don't like this person. Why are you watching them? I don't, I truly don't understand. Like if I don't like a channel, bye, that's it, yeah. bye, yeah. I'm out. I'm never gonna watch you if I don't like you. Maybe I'll watch, give you a second chance sometime, but I don't understand the desire to go there. And then, and then we'll talk about this later. The people that like make the channels to talk crap on people. Oh, yeah. oh. What do you do with your life? Like I, I genuinely feel bad for these people. Like, do you have a family? That's not a productive use of your time. But yes, go ahead, sorry, I have a lot to say. Me? I like Beto back there. He was laughing at us. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, Beto's back there. He's like, he just, <laughs> I'm saying something super serious. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> that was the, me. <laughs> this remind me of the first time I got a memo from Rifo when I, you know, being the squad. Okay. And it was a long time ago when I engaged with a troll in the comments. Oh, you engaged with I a remember troll. you sent me a message directly to me say. Gabo, don't do that. And I, I would not say why, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. self-explanatory. Yeah. But going to my channel, I still small channel. You still have your own channel, though. I mean, and you have a, hey, you have a great amount of people who love you, bro. So don't, don't uh, underplay thank that. Thank you, and I love, I love everybody. You, 
including <laughs> Chris doesn't really like you. I love Gavin. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> no, I mean, Force no, we don't. You have a great loyal people who Riff's love like this, you. and he's like, "Hey, you love Gavin, don't you?" <laughs> <laughs> he kicked me. He now we love you. Put us on a tier list. No, I mean, my channel is different as the squad, of course. Of course. And I want to accomplish other stuff in my channel. And, and everybody knows I'm a people's person. Um, I'm lucky so far. I knock on, on Chris. Uh, <laughs> I'm I don't, that's there. the worst luck ever. Don't do that. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't have the toxicity yeah. yet. But one thing I, I will not tolerate is when, when these trolls start like making fun of somebody else in the comments like yes. for example 100 like for example this cool dude say like gabo i know you're bald and i like you like that and bald yeah bald. okay bald. bald no hair it's a sample yeah and he comes this troll trying to be funny hey, look at me i'm funny yeah and say oh so you are homosexual because you like his Right. Yeah. Things see, like that, that that is what you call the definition of yeah. like dumb internet. Yeah, I'm not going to tolerate that. Yeah, yeah. And I know there's trolls like that. Yeah. Over there, and but you know, I, I, I try to reply every comment. I, I just don't. I mean, I, yeah. I, I love trolls because I, I love trolling back too, okay, like giving do. him a lesson. Yeah, yeah. But the only thing I, I'm not going to tolerate is the bullying. See, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like trolls, and I've never, I've long gave up on engaging. Yeah. It just, it never ends. Anymore. I don't feel like you ever win. There no, is no you're like, oh, no. wow, I, <laughs> no. I really got I, that I guy. lean into it. I like it. When someone calls me like I mean, a Walmart or a budget, I'm like, man. And then they go, oh, actually, you're kind of target tier. I'm like, bet. At wow. least I'm in there. <laughs> I've always wow. just felt the best thing to do is just ignore it. I just yeah. now, like, Whenever that happens, I just like, I well, just ignore it. Definitely, that, that's, that's how the, I handle that's it. That's the best thing to do. But like Curtis, and, and I think we are similar because he's he can we can say he's new with the squad, with, yeah, with the community, so. and I'm new with with my own channel, mm -hmm. right? So maybe it we it's different. Yeah, maybe we still have that. You know, we don't have that experience. Totally. Yeah. That's and what I, I yeah, used. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, I used to engage, but yeah. every time I've done it, I'm just like, I never feel good about it after. I'm like, oh, I feel yeah. disgusting. So I, and you get in a name calling match with somebody yeah. you don't even know, and you're like, what the heck was the point of that? <laughs> and then you're thinking about it, and it's just not even worth it. Because mm -hmm. then you carry that around on your shoulders. Just yeah. let it go. Yeah, that's true. I, I hopped off social media like seven years ago, and I, I stayed off until we made the podcast and all that stuff. Because I just was like, I don't need that filter or whatever it is in my life where it's like I have people telling me to be a certain way. And then like I even see the comments, but for the most part, like I am like there is like one or two, but then there's like 20 others yes. that are just amazing. Right. The other two are just gonna be like, oh, whatever, dude. Like, I'll just lean into your troll. Yeah. I have thick skin. I don't really care what anybody thinks, really. I just see them and I'm like, eh, whatever. It's funny. We're lucky enough that we've we've never grown like in a viral way. So it's been very community driven at a slow pace, which I think Marquise Brownlee recently like made some comment. He's one of the biggest YouTube reviewers out there saying like, that's like the best thing that can happen to you. Like that you grow significantly, you know, past hundred K or whatever it may be, which luckily and thankfully to all of you guys, we did on pixel game squad, but it was never through virality because you're always bringing your community with you. Yeah. Right. So we are lucky enough and blessed enough to have a 99% great comment section. Oh yeah. Now have we deleted comments? Brrr, yes. But absolutely. But it's for the same reason you said, I'm OK with you guys suck. I'm OK with this was dumb, whatever. I'm OK with constructive criticism. I don't like the way this is edited. This is really dumb. You know, you guys should try this way. That's all great. But the minute they talk crap about my homies, only we can talk crap about our homies because yeah. we're homies. And I think that social media like can actually be a really awesome place it when it's yeah. positive. Like I'm on Instagram all the time. That's my you know, social media of choice. And if it's positive, you can have great interactions with people. And it, when a troll or the negative stuff comes in, it just ruins it. It's just bad. Like, yeah, you wonder, just, like, but you think, like, what are you, why are you here? Yeah. Like, that's just, really always the question in my head. And a good example for us, Ricky, we've seen it, like, even on whatnot. Like, oh, people will just yeah. randomly come in and say <laughs> yeah. things, and you're like, what? Not rough, because it's constant. It's live. Yeah. It's live, yeah. And it's live. How do you feel, Ricky, when we're live? It is different. And, you know, there's maybe, you know, there's a good amount of people in there, but let's say 30 people are actively commenting. How do you feel when one comes in? It's like, 
it kills the whole it kills the vibe because dude those the our whatnot crowd is awesome they're like the coolest i love joking around with them because they're awesome and you got this one dude all it, it doesn't happen every time but it does come around and then we also get these other trolls that you know we'll have an item and you know what they do <laughs> what when they want certain things that aren't there or what yeah kind of like that or but they, no when they bid like <laughs> that is the yeah. worst troll that's a whole like, different conversation oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll bid a thousand dollars an item and it won't you know, go through that'll, on that'll, be a, that'll be a good topic for later on yeah Chill people do that on purpose yes. wait wait i gotta say this one of our and this isn't necessarily comments but it kind of i guess it does reviews right of your game store those are comments oh we've had people on whatnot this is the oh, most example i'm sorry if you're listening i truly am an ex example of i hate to say it but stupidity just plain and simply imagine i'm selling you this right now and i say hey man i'm selling you this and someone goes hey in the comments hey can you include that water bottle with it too and i'm like no i can't i'm not i'm not doing that bad review and they leave a review saying they didn't give me the water bottle <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like <laughs> I multiple times, thank goodness, whatnot, I will say props to you guys now that have video receipts, which has saved us, like, literally 10 reviews. Of, we have, luckily, like, 3,000 five-star reviews that are all great. But every once in a while, people want things that, like, we never said. Yeah. So do we want to get those comments deleted? Absolutely, because they're not true. Now, we have left a couple up. Couple up. If we've made a mistake, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to fight that. Yeah, we made a mistake. We thought that this was uh, working, but when it got there, it didn't work. Sure, leave it there, and we'll we'll DM us and we'll work something out. So, can I say something real quick? Absolutely. Sorry. You can say something long, actually, quick. two things. <laughs> oh, not that long. <laughs> no, no, no. Quick, quick. Yeah. So, I can say we are lucky and we are blessed that the followers we have, Pixel Game Squad, Pixel Plus, and my channel is the best they are the the toxicity the toxic avengers is only like one or two percent tiny yeah, tiny, tiny yeah. percent the rest is freaking awesome and which is why yeah. thank you why it's, <laughs> why it's never worth it to let the one tiny person get to you because there is such a great community out there yeah. so the one person Amazing. wants to ruin it it's just not even worth it and those, i've long gotten over it i'm just like okay and the other thing goes. i'm gonna give you guys the perfect example let's hear it phoenix resale Okay. There's a lot of hate out there from for him, but you know what? Uh, he's the perfect example. Since uh, Siege, Siege, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and even this past weekend, I spent a lot of time with him. And hey, Toxic Avengers, I don't understand. The guy's super cool. He's, he's awesome. The, like, dude, the nicest he's awesome. guy in the world. In he's, person. I don't know if maybe just his videos, yes. he comes across a different way. Maybe because he's just well, reselling. He does what people. Can't stand to Can't see. Can't stand the reselling. Honesty. Right. Yeah, I'm going to sell this. Honest. <laughs> just so you know, I'm buying this and I'm going to sell it. He's, Sorry that I'm on. Dude, he is person. the same person yeah. as you are in, like on in, camera and off. And in got, person, he is ge like, genuinely awesome. one of the nicest guys I've you ever guys, met. You guys remember what he did in South Carolina? Which one? He bought like three boxes of Donuts to give it to the sellers. Yeah. With Big, our, Big Donuds? Was that? Donuts. 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 Oh, donuts. Donuts. I didn't know what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Old McDonald's. Old McDonald's. I give her and even do that. So he was also a businessman when he did it because he's buttering the people up. But either way, no. <laughs> either way, <laughs> it's a well, kind. you see it that way. But no, I, I don't. I see it. I well, see in it. the video he made a joke saying, that, "Yeah, but, but I see it like I was talking with him. I spent a lot of time with him, especially in South Carolina, and we was talking, and I was like, bro, I don't understand why people." hate you so much you're super awesome but he love it he liked it he it's just, just because he's a re the, the reselling i think i think he's is. the most resellery without any shade of being like i'm not a reseller right everyone will kind of give you like i resell but also i really collect i really collect like they make sure right. but he's like yeah yeah i resell full on i'm here to make money thank you have a good day like he's yeah. being honest about What's it but that business he's 100 percent been at business yeah. right so so yeah, that's an example how the toxic Avenger can bring toxic to a channel, toxicity and, and, to a channel. And and advice to YouTubers too, like you know, don't don't let it get there. Stay away from it. Don't engage. Don't talk. The minute you start talking to them, they'll want to keep doing it. I actually, I would, I admit, wow, this is a perfect day. I'm not going to say the guy's name, but I had to search up something for a video. I was editing Caleb's video, and I had to search. Um, Caleb editor riff because I need to find a clip of me with him with one of our friends Elliot yeah. So I searched that up Caleb editor riff and a video came up in my feed with like 3,000 views and it was like 
editor riff something phoenix reseller and guess what i did nothing i didn't click on it didn't Just blink go buy it move on cool yeah. i didn't even click on the video no it's not worth it, it cannot be a part of your day yeah. and if you are one of those people who hates on people makes videos that's fine that's life right we have i'm sure there's people with differing political opinions that we fires us up and we think about it but there's a level of when things make sense to talk about and within groups and things that don't make sense to talk about. And that's the kind of comments that will hide, that will delete, that are just I'm learning useless. that part. And you'll get, it's just time. I it's, commit the mistake like a month ago. I think I know what is the video. There's, I don't want to know it. Don't tell me. I don't care. No, it's, it, it, you say it already. Okay. So it, I, it comes to my feet in YouTube one one stupid guy that do one of those sorry but do those videos like criticizing the that guy even even talks smack about uh chase after the right price see when you know when someone talks about chase <laughs> they are yeah. they're not watching dude yeah. and 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 i came across one video talking about you and and phoenix resale and yeah i commit the mistake of watching the video and and i get mad yeah, see what it can Watching do your day? that, and, 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 and that's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't make sense. They don't, they don't know us. They, they, don't. Don't, they don't know you. They don't know Caleb. Yep. Why they have to talk Dude. like that. So it's, it's so stupid. Well, it's only going to be the – sorry to interrupt you, Chris. But it's only going to be the time. Like, you're going to be putting yourself out the world to judge. And that's it. Like, it's a toxic avenger. Yes. So. I mean, I mean it's and there's different of- sayings for one being like having thick, thick, thick skin. There's another one that I would recommend. I would recommend anybody to read this book. It's a book called The Art of Not Giving. And yep, F, I know that. I know which that is an amazing book about really. It's not that you don't give an f about life of course and people care. around. Of course you care. It's that art of not care, giving an f when stuff like that happens. Yeah. And what it's taken me years. It's something you have to train yourself to where that stuff almost like just bounces off you and yes. reflects, and you no longer care about. The it. reality is, yeah. you just don't care. I don't care about it. Good it has no Let impact on me. A stranger on the internet, literally a stranger on the internet dictate your feelings for the day, which is a big thing I've been practicing lately and I recommend it to a lot of people, even you guys. I've made it a habit where I do not look at my phone until like I am out the door and I need to. I don't want to, I don't need to see anything. I want to go out. I want to be smiling, do what I need to do and walk out the door. That's basically what you told me last night. Oh yeah. yeah. And I, and I, I, I admire you guys because I'm not in that level mentally yeah. it, I had to work at it for years yeah stuff used to bother me and I used to carry it with me and I'd be like oh man that was terrible or somebody said this or somebody said that once you teach yourself this it's like having a force field around you yeah the stuff doesn't come through anymore and, and, and you know what especially last night uh, we have a deep conversation last night and made me love you guys more yeah because there was one thing you told me last night uh, yeah what was in, it? It, well, I, okay. I, I'm your friend, and I don't want. Yeah, yeah. If it's uh, non-repeatable, yeah. don't repeat it. Yeah, I don't yeah. Yeah. exactly. And 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 at first, me being me, I read that and I was like, but then it took like one minute, and going back, say, he really looking after me. Absolutely. The same with the Flintstones. Yeah. He really and make me love you guys more. Good. Yeah, I, I, and, and and that's the those are the things. There's so many things. I'm I'm I, I'm so happy and blessed that I have my channel because I I'm I'm learning so much. Yeah, and I'm starting to understand a lot of things, and and value more and more and more, especially you, all the especially in the editing size, how much sacrifice oh, yeah. and time you spend editing those videos. Yeah. And 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 I have to say it, don't cry. Thanks. <laughs> He's going to cry. Look. No, I hope you are. I thought I, you were going to cry. Thought too. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought you were. I mean, zoom in. I, 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 well, <laughs> Chris doesn't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> no, no. What, no, what well, just well, happened? <laughs> no, I mean, in the group, I'm the, most, I'm the most soft one. Basically, what happened. I'm the most soft and one. And we can't, obviously, won't say because it no, does deal with some community details, stuff. But. It, some community stuff. But basically, Gabo let some stuff get to him that I didn't want to get to him because we care about him. And that's it. Yeah. So we just kind of explained to him. Yeah. And almost, I get, though, I kind of said it harsh at first. 
because I was just, you know, like, yeah, his yeah, friend. Yeah. I'm not going to butter, you know, butter it up for him. I'm like, you know, just kind of late. But like you said, after you realize got past the harshness. If if you see if you see the if you see the 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 comments, you you can see I stop because I was like, what the, like he's mad. But then but then I I'm like, no. Here's the thing, in the group with these two, Ricky is like the soft love. Right, Ricky is the one that. Ooh, that's what his wife calls him. Soft love. Soft love. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. Ricky, Ricky's gonna oh, no. be the one like, okay, bro, he's gonna be all right. Rifo reminds me Hard. a lot of my dad. He's Hard tough, love. tough love. Tough love, yeah. So he's it. gonna be like, Smack wake up, one. but he's with love. Yeah. And, and I'm saying this because people, people, going back to the Flintstones video. Mm -hmm. People talk a lot about you guys. Yeah, like basically, let, let's tell the audience is Gabo was basically put in like this, almost like a panel of people like who should get Flintstone yeah. Dinosaur Peak, Rick or Gabo, and we got a lot of heat because we're some of Gabo's <laughs> best friends, and we said not Gabo, because at the time I knew it wasn't the right deal, I knew it was he was looking for, and behind the scenes I just knew it wasn't the right time for you, which is obviously more personal stuff, which I won't say. Yeah, and. We got a lot of heat for it from people. Yeah. You guys thought you guys were his friend. You vote for Rick, blah, blah, blah. I knew it was the season for Rick to do it. I knew it wasn't the season mm -hmm. for Gabo. And what ended up happening? Yeah, maybe it's my fault, too, the way I edit that part. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I did as a joke when I put, like, My friends know. betray me or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a joke. But that's what friends do. Because that's, that's going to be the difference between Gabo in the Pixel Game Squad and Gabo, uh, you know, uh, side project. Yeah. Mine doesn't have filter, and yeah. mine is for a mature audience, so yeah. <laughs> it's different. But anyways, he, he like like we always say, Ristradramus, because he ended up being right. What do we say? <laughs> he called, he called, he called, <laughs> I like so, 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 yeah. so, yeah. yeah, as long as you're playing, he's playing. Ristradramus calls me that. Basically, what, what basically what ended up happening is Gabo's season came after that, and he got it at the better price, a better timing. He got it for much cheaper and better condition with us there. But so. Did you say Riff Stradamus? Riff Stradamus. Oh, yeah, like, no, no, no. I, don't, I, I don't claim that, but I, I, I like you loving on me. Thank you. Uh, yes, because I know you're he did it like five times. So it was good advice. We, we don't yeah. want to get into... Ha harsh <laughs> advice that was good advice, yeah. apparently. And as long as you're having fun doing it, man, and you know the true story, then Have it doesn't fun. matter what anybody else will think, man. And be Shut loving up, out Curtis. there. I love yeah. you. Don't stop, man. Okay. Be you. All right. All right, we're going to go on to our last topic. It's going to be cartoons that should have been made into video games or our favorite into our favorite consoles. So, Ooh. video cartoons that should have been video games for our favorite consoles. Let's clarify this because there's a lot of shows out there that you might like your brain initially will be like, "Dude, I love Bobby's World. I love Eek the Cat. They should have made that a game." A lot of these things got video. Yeah, it's, they got it's games. Unbelievable how many of them. Yeah, and I did the research to so the ones that didn't make it, but like there are ones that didn't make your favorite console. So got it. Yeah, my number one was going to be Bobby's World. That was like my choice. They have a Super NES, game. Super NES game, but he sucks, right? It's pretty jank. It's like bare bones. I mean, it's Bobby, and you're walking. I always forget the spider's name. Spidey. Uh, hey, yeah. Spidey. Uh, oh god, I can't remember. Oh, dude, I can't remember. All I can think of is Mr. And, uh, Squash. <laughs> and I know Ricky Squash. had one. He told us off podcast it was King of the Hill. Oh, right. King of the Hill. Of the King of the there's Hill. There's a game. Been awesome. Okay, now to there, be fair, there a game? We, we, let's say this. No, I think one, there's yeah. an Xbox game about that one. No. No, there's I, not. Okay, no. well, let's say this. Let's also like exclude like random PC like Windows games because I feel yeah, like there's yeah, so that many doesn't of those count. or cell phone I'm games. I'm pretty sure the, the ones that I'm gonna mention. <laughs> okay, let's okay. Go, go quick. Let, let, let's let Ricky go his King of the Hill route. What you got with you? What, what you thinking in your head? What, what would be the premise though? Oh, dude, you sell propane and propane accessories, and you mow the lawn, bro. Hey, <laughs> hang out with your... But look, look. There, <laughs> that's, that's an awesome, awesome game. There's I'd a like boom hour that. stage where you're driving. Like, you know, he drives a crazy oh, car. And then you're Dale killing bugs. Oh, I mean, come on. How cool is this? Well, they did a Beavis and Bullhead game, so... Oh, yeah, so lots of them. It'd be, it'd be something like that, like... Like multi characters, I don't know. I, th I think for I, which like system? Which, which run, system is this coming out on? Mail? All right, so if I had to pick a system for it, it'd probably be. So think about the time and everything. How what it's gonna do needs to make sense on that console. What's it gonna be? I'd probably do GameCube. 
game oh, for, that, for that for, for that, that game I like that. with like I shell like cell shaded yeah. kind of thing maybe yeah like an alien hominid alien style. hominid style yes <laughs> that'd be awesome Bruce, who you call the next teacher uh chris do you have one I do. Um, one of my favorite cartoons growing up, which this, again, was made later as, like, way later as a game. And then I guess early on for, like, Atari ST, okay. which I didn't even realize. I did have to look this up. Yeah. But Thundercats was one of my yep. favorite yep. games, I was, yes. uh, cartoons of all time. Yeah. And I'm like, how did they never actually, like, if that was on NES, I would have loved to have played it on NES. Because that was the height, like, at the end of the 80s. I loved it. Like... It could have just been a side-scrolling Lionel with the sword, you know, Thunder going through. Yeah. Thundercat like Oh, Rastan. you could have put the thing up. Thundercats could have <laughs> the noise. What console? Yeah. NES. 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 So they, Super ooh. NES would have been incredible, so, but even NES would have been amazing. If there so was I had to do a lot of research on, like, Thundercats because Give Thundercats was one of those, like, with those notable games that I was like, oh, they didn't make one, but they did for the DS. I, Nintendo but DS, yeah. There was a like I went in and this guy named Larry Bundy Jr., who was a YouTuber, did a review for like Thundercats that. that was supposed to come out for the NES, but got canceled There's by the a, developer. I Ooh. saw that. There's a cover art for the NES game. Right, right. Which wow. looked so incredible. It wow. was done by uh, Elite, which was a game developer that was supposed to do it for the NES, but they only did it for, like, the Commodore 64 and a couple other things. Curtis but with the it, research. Well, and I, I read this, too, Dude, actually. I read the I same mean, article. I, the guy had I'll a let whole... let Curtis have yeah. his shine. No, 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 But, like, I even told you guys, I was like, th like that's going to be a little it, bit of It was going to be a port of the Atari game. It did come out on Atari ST, which is one of my favorite systems, by the way. They did computers, a, the Atari they did ST. 8-bit version and a 16-bit version. Yeah, it was going to be a port of that to the NES, but it never came out. And so, like, two other we games came up We need to it. find the uh, the prototype. Dude, Maybe there's a prototype of Thundercats out there. That cover art was so sick. We'll I was like, it. that's the game that I would have picked. Yeah. Like, I have a few Wait, of them, but that was... There's a Thundercat game on the DS. DS. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. From 2012. And oh, I, he said it? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gabo was like, no wait worries. for a moment. So he's like, guys, don't worry. <laughs> Is on the DS. What an <laughs> what an awesome choice, man! Being Lionel and just like oh, it would have been so good. Yeah. Uh, All right. So, Gabba, did you have one? I got two quick ones. I love how you always. You can have go two. into depth, man. No worries. Go for it, bro. Silver Hawks. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a good wow. one. Wow. That was amazing. Super super Cartoon? rare oh. cartoon. Older. I think it only lasts like three seasons. Was it like late eighties? Yeah. Early eighties. Middle eighties. Like Middle eighties. I. I I think I could be wrong though. I think there was a game for Famicom for that. Silverhawk? I think so. I, I could I could be wrong. Okay. Because I was looking that up. Yeah, you can look that up too. I'll look it up while you guys are I don't talking. remember the cartoon. It's H A W K S. Like Silverhawks. Silver Silver Hawks. Hawks. You, yeah. You'll notice the helmets, they kind of look like. Yeah. A, it was like the same people that did uh, uh, Thundercats. Okay. Mm. And for NES, and I seen the game maybe playing like Captain Planet hmm. on the NES. I don't see a game. No. I don't see it again. And I think but Captain Planet did Captain make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they did. They have yeah. an yeah. NES. So actually, he's, he's Which is two fun. more. Right. Other, the other one is Thundar. 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 You guys doesn't remember Thundar? Thundar. Anna Barbera? Yeah, the Thundar. No. Hmm. Thundar. Thundar. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was looking up so much. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, discard that You have that another one. one. No worries. <laughs> okay. Rifo will like this one. Ooh. NES. Okay. Capcom. Uh-oh. Gummy birds, Disney gummy that birds. Been a good one. Yo, that would have been really Ooh, good. Been cool. been cool. And that... I imagine the same gameplay as DuckTales because you remember gummy they birds, bounce. the cartoon. They bounce. Bom, bom. Wow, that would be that's a good awesome. one. Dude, that you know, good that, one. I think you you hit it on the head with Disney Capcom because that style of gummy bears is Disney. It feels very Capcom NES. Yes. Wow, I like that, Gabo. That's a good one. Wait. Now, Rick, do you have one? Dude, I got one. It's newer, though. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I know who's going to like this one, Ricky. Oh. So I actually like like games like Overcooked. Have you guys ever played that? It's like cooking simulators where it's crazy, but it's fun and things fall down. And you're tr No, it's not. What do you think? This guy made fun of me about a swap meet simulator, and he's like, <laughs> no, no, no. Cooking you, no, no. simulator. But you have to play Overcooked. Get out of no, here. <laughs> I, the audience is not going to agree with you. Trust me. Overcooked is one of the highest rated video games. Oh, my God. No, imagine it's crazy, though. Like everything's crazy, things get fall. I want a game like that, but I want Bob's Burgers. Oh, oh that'd be okay. so good. I want right. a Bob's Burgers themed like crazy cooking adventure. Makes sense. But That's again, an awesome one. I'm not sitting here like let me roast for 22 seconds and flip. No, I want it to be crazy. The burgers, things catch on fire. They got to go put it out. The 
competing restaurant comes across the street. Was it Jimmy? Jimmy Pesto's. Jimmy Pesto's, yes. <laughs> Jimmy Pesto. Yes, I'd want a Bob's Burger, man. I, I had so many. I didn't want to force a retro pick because all of my retro picks ended up being ones that were already games. So I didn't want to be like. Eh, Would you me... want that in like eight bit form or sixteen bit form or what console? I think I'd want it like like Switch. So Ooh. like newer, yeah. not like. What about PS Five? Man, Mo I hate to admit it, I'm loving that, the PS Five. In, in that seventy seven inch TV. I have to say it on on the <laughs> podcast. So I've said it on on the main channel. I am loving the PS Five. Gosh yeah. dang it! I told you. And I I've given so you much know, hate. What are you yeah. Huh? What are you playing? Uh, right now, Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. Oh, nice. It is funny because we're going to get so much fire because, especially Reefo and me, we talk so, so much bad. crap about it. <laughs> Did you when it came out? Oh, yeah. Oh, we dude. Were Xbox Series Remember X or when die. Remember they, when they, they announced the controller? We made a video about we it. We made a video. I thought it was crap. like a podcast, right? Yeah, Squadcast. The, the Squadcast. Oh, my God. We talk so much. And look at look at that. Well, I, so I bought a PS5 from Gabo, and I was like, "All right, if I'm gonna buy a PS5, I'm gonna go the whole nine yards." So I went to Best Buy, and I literally said, "Give me the best TV you have." And funny enough, he led me to the TV that you told me to buy. So I was like, "Well, Gabo was right." He literally you, said, "Your friend has good taste. That's the TV you want." Yeah. So I got the the big boy, basically an 80 inch TV. Then I was like walking out, and the next day I was like. I might as well get the best sound bar. <laughs> so yeah. I go over to another store and get a sound bar. And now, dude, when I'm playing Ratchet and Clank, bro, I'm less like... You're like in theater mode. Theater oh, mode, so bro. so good, man. It's great. Even for... I mean, I watched Mighty Ducks, the original. Then I watched Mighty Ducks 2 the next night. My kids... We was debating it. which movie was going to be the first. You told me Super Mario, the Mario movie. We didn't end up watching and it. I, and I told you uh, Save It, Pry Ryan. Oh, but I, my kids Ooh. would not be yeah, around but, for that one. They would ruin their yeah. life. <laughs> But man, I'm so happy for you. Seriously. Yeah, thank you. Ricky had another uh, game. I, I know that. I saw you searching in your phone, bro. What were you doing over there? I was making sure because I knew I was like, all right, I checked it, but I I double checked it, so I had triple checked it to make sure it wasn't a game. Okay. It was a game on a phone. Like that's why I, I was like, oh, right, it was like an yeah. Android game. Street Sharks. How after oh, making all been, those oh, games, oh, all these random games, they never made a Street Sharks game on the Super Dang, Nintendo. That's a and, good one. And and, and what, like form, do you think it'd be like kind of like Nothing. TMNT? Version? I, I, yeah, we talking beat em up. We talking. We talking beat em up like TMNT. Dude, oh. slam -o, dude. dude. That's dude. my favorite. Slam yes. Come on, bro. So TMNT like Super Nintendo game. Yes, like a two four player game oh, with all yeah. the sharks. That'd be insane. That would be bad. Like Pyro of the Dark Water. Yes, just like that. Wow. Super NES. Super NES is good. Because Genesis is a, a 2D platform, I guess. I don't I think, think I ever played on the Genesis. but Super NES about, is a beat em up. But how what crazy is that? One it's pick. such a big show, but all these Actually, shows that only lasted like a year, they made... That that show was only a year, and they made a car, so a good. whole a whole game for it. Oh, like Alien vs. Predator, Super yeah. NES. You know what else didn't make it? Mummies Alive. Mummies Alive. I arrived. never saw a you video game for Mummies Alive. You would love it. I never saw that cartoon. You would love Mummies Alive and never Monster Force, which is one I recently yeah. found. Monster Force was more either. like of a hidden. Can I say one more? Absolutely, yeah. Gabo. Dude, I know there's games Walking Dead, but we need, please, we need a good Walking Dead game. Just think about it. You saw some of the series. Some some seasons. Oh yeah. You don't think it's an amazing story to do a video game? Did they only make the Telltale series? Of that? No, they have a they have a VR PS4, one, right? They have like a third person one, but I just all like are bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts naming them. I mean, there was two <laughs> other big ones that um, I wanted to mention because we had talked about it a little bit, Rick. Yeah. Uh, he Man. He Man came out initially on they got games. Atari. Atari. Yeah, yeah. They it was have Atari. a PS2 one. Yeah, and it came out later. There was Atari 2600 and Intellivision, which I've seen many times, so I know it came out. And then I don't think it was until like PS3, Xbox 360. So we uh, missed So that. there was like a huge gap of like not a good solid game, I feel like. That could, probably Super Nintendo or NES would have been really good. Well, yeah. you can play with Skeletor in Call of Duty now. I, <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, I have cool. a few uh, notable mentions if you guys want Let's to talk about it. Yeah. Of course you want to hear so, it, Curtis. I mean, imagine Captain of the Game Master would have been one. Oh, been Captain good. N! Dang. That how did they yo, that why actually did, why on earth did Nintendo not do that? Why didn't they? they why would That's they messing not? with my head now that it's not a game. Yeah. <laughs> I, got a, I got a better one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are we sure? Yes. Let's hear it. <laughs> yes. I mean, if, if uh, Angry Nerd has a video game, 
Mr. Captain, I know everything any ass. No, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not near cool enough or popular. <laughs> All right, so I got a few more. I mean, uh, you guys Let's hear it, tell me a thumbs up or thumbs down, I guess, right now. It's right. going to be thumbs up or thumbs down with him. How and chicken. Ooh. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. All right. Triple thumbs down. Where you got a thumbs, thumbs up, up from Ricky? I'll give you a thumbs up. All right. And then Angry Beavers. If you I'd say thumbs that up would on be that good. one. Thumbs yeah. up. What that would be good. Thumbs Angry up. Beavers? If Angry you don't know, Beavers? Beavers? you can look them up later. Put it. Johnny's Quest. Thumbs up. Thumbs right. Amazing. Sideways. This one's actually the one that I really liked, which was Freakazoid. Oh, I love Freakazoid. Freakazoid. I don't yeah. remember that character. If they got a tick game. You would know if you saw like his I love like, the character. Tick. There was one <laughs> other know. major, major, major one that they did not do, which was Voltron. There was yeah. no They have wow. a 360 game. 360. Yeah. I know, but, but it belonged in the 8-bit. It belonged in yeah, the 8-bit, 16-bit bit yeah. era. There was no Voltron. Like, yeah, dude. But how would you true. have done that? Well, how would you have done that game? What do you think? Do the Super I, I Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and make it like the Power Rangers ones. You know, no, how do like, you like build into the nah, Voltron? Because the Power Rangers ones, I want it, stuff something like that. Could I you want combine like in RPG. the Power Rangers one? I think RPG. you can. Dang RPG! I'd want a Super Nintendo RPG because oh. that's what I really <laughs> loved awesome. when I could tolerate RPGs was on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, no Voltron. It will be awesome. NES. Okay. To the platform. Okay. Each member <laughs> find the, their their lion, oh. and after you find the oh. all the lions. You start like a shoot them up. So that's the mission. Oh. Is each mission is to Guardian find their Legend. lions and then yeah, Guardian like Legend. Guardian <laughs> Legend. Or, like, I think there's or a game Life like, Force like first like this. You know who and got then, a, like, You know who got a game and it was better than I was thinking. Or it's it's actually what I wanted. I was very surprised when they announced the Stranger Things game and it's actually like what I wanted it to be. Oh, it was like a top down RPG like eight bit style video game. Oh, I didn't even hear about that. It was great. I loved it. I actually beat it on mobile and on Switch. I, think really? I bought it from you. What a maybe? baller! Possibly, <laughs> it was great. I, I love. Give it. it to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna close this one out. Woo! Gabo, Woo! thank you for being wait, here. Wait, wait, look, look behind you. Hurry. Two, Two hours, hours on wow. the dot. Oh, but we're not done. done yet. But it is. That was pretty nuts. Two hours on the dot. <laughs> <laughs> All the full uh, we episodes. Wait, wait, sh- later, everybody. All the Let's full audio up. episodes no, no. will be linked in the description, guys. And uh, thank you for being here and supporting us as always. And Gabo, okay. thank you for being here, dude. He did it perfect. Oh. Oh. Curtis did it perfect. <laughs> Gabo, high fives all around. Yeah. yeah. Thank hey. you, Beto. Hey, yeah. No, I block I'm it. Stuck, block stuck. it. Hey, invite me. Okay, <laughs> yeah, maybe a month. Okay, bye.